Chapter 341 Going to the Endless Abyss, the Eighth Rank Divine Art Storm of Order. Who are the mastermind behind this incident, we need to investigate. Then collect some interest from the god of withering Guzel first. Just do it. Ren sprang into action, under his control. The incarnation of space and the incarnation of order left the kingdom of god together. Go to the lower interface. The reason. To dispatch two incarnations to go together. One is to ensure that this operation is foolproof. The second is that the distance between the upper interface and the lower interface is too far away. One is in the upper layer of the universe. One is at the bottom of the universe. If there is no space incarnation to assist, it takes a lot of time to turn order into a hurry. It is different when the space avatars accompany them together. Through the shuttle space, the rush time has been reduced by more than a hundred times. It was a smooth journey without any accidents. 447, about five hours later. Ren space avatar and order avatar appear on the lower interface. Just like the upper interface, there are also seven vast and boundless super large planes on the sinking interface. They are Shira Battlefield, Bator Hell, Scorching Hell, Dark Wilderness, Nightmare Fortress, Endless Abyss, and Noisy Land. And the goal of Ren Trip, the god of withering, Guzul's kingdom of god, is on the 89th floor of the Endless Abyss. Without hesitation, Ren immediately manipulated the two avatars to walk in the direction of the Endless Abyss plane. As the place where the world returns to ruins, the base camp of the Abyssal Demons. The plane of Endless Abyss is located at the bottom of the lower interface. It's a long way from where Ren is, in addition, there is no specific coordinate of the Endless Abyss. Even if Ren's space avatar kept traveling through the void, it took nearly half a day to arrive. Ten hours later, a supergiant plane full of terrible chaos and negative atmosphere appeared in front of Ren. From the outside, the structure of the endless abyss plane is very strange. The hole is stepped, like a Russian nesting doll. There are layers of plane worlds inside. These plane worlds come from all corners of the universe. Due to various reasons, mostly corrupted and corrupted by the abyss demons, they were captured and assimilated by the abyss plane. Exactly. The layers of the endless abyss are growing rapidly every moment. To this day, no one knows how many layers the Endless Abyss has. Even the gods are the same. No time wasted. Ren directly manipulated the two avatars into the plane of the Endless Abyss. Activate space control. A blue portal instantly appeared on the world film of the Endless Abyss plane. Walk into. The figures of the two incarnations disappeared in this star field out of thin air. Heaven and earth change. Next second. The surrounding scene changed from a dim starry sky to an extremely hot scorched earth. Gululu. Numerous hot lava flowing freely on the ground. It forms an endless ocean of lava. Even the air is filled with the extremely pungent sulfur smell. Such a harsh environment. Ordinary creatures simply cannot survive. But for the devil. Especially for fire attribute demons, this place is simply paradise. Fire demon, lava demon, hellfire. All kinds of powerful high-level fire demons can be seen everywhere. Humanity? These two prey are mine. Get the hell out of here. Saw someone breaking in. Like sharks smelling blood, these demons scrambled towards the two incarnations of Ren. A group of ants, for these short-eyed little Karamis. Ren's solution was simple. Distorting the space casually, strangling all the demons within a radius of 10,000 miles into scum. Accompanied by countless vortex-shaped space, meat grinders, emerge. In a blink of an eye, the lava world was completely quiet. This should be the lava ocean on the 75th layer of the Endless Abyss. If you want to reach the 89th floor of the Endless Abyss, you should continue to go down. Dealing with the demons that got in the way, Ren scanned the terrain. Determine the direction to go next. Then, the two incarnations disappeared in place again. After several space moves, Ren finally managed to find and reach the 89th floor of the Endless Abyss where the God of Withering, Guzel, lives, the Wilderness of Silence. This is a world that is completely dead. The sky is gray and the earth is dry. There is no trace of any life. Not even a demon that claimed to have a stronger vitality than a cockroach could be found. There was a dead silence. The only evil god living in this abyss is the God of Withering, Guzel. At. Ren easily found the ancient Zul's kingdom of God. And Guzel also sensed very keenly that there was a strange presence outside. Send an avatar to check it out for the first time. Light God Ren. After seeing who was coming, Lu Zer's withered and shabby face instantly revealed a ferocious expression. Killing intent boiled in my heart, not long ago. Ren kills his avatar. 
It caused him to steal chickens and lose money. The loss is huge. Now Ren dared to take the initiative to go deep into the abyss and come to the door. It's just asking for death. He was worried that he could not take revenge. Who is the person who summoned you to come to Roland Continent? Ignoring Guzul's anger and killing intent, Ren asked calmly. If it is possible to find out the mastermind behind this incident from Guzul. That saves a lot of effort. But. Guzul obviously couldn't be obediently cooperating with Ren to answer this question. On the contrary. Seeing that Ren didn't take himself seriously at all. Guzul was also completely angry. Go to hell. Carrying an extremely strong killing intent. Guzul launched an extremely ferocious attack towards Ren without hesitation. Countless powerful and powerful evil divine arts condensed from its hands. Bombardment towards the two avatars of Ren, Space Devour. Seeing this, N didn't panic at all. Control the space avatar and launch space control. Construct a huge space black hole to swallow all these evil magic arts. It's not over yet. After confirming that it was impossible to directly obtain clues about the mastermind behind the scenes from Guzel. Ren immediately launched an attack on the god of Wither, Guzel, according to the original plan. I saw the high-level artifact in the hands of the incarnation of order, the scale of order, bursting out with an earth-shattering vast aura. Next second. The power of endless rules of world order descended out of thin air. Finally, they converged to form a terrifying storm with a diameter of nearly one light year. The eighth-level divine art, Order Storm. P.S. Something bad happened at home today. I went out to drink some wine with my friends at noon, and I just woke up now. Hence, a late update. But, please rest assured that there will be a lot of updates today. It is possible that the update time will be later. I also ask all book friends to forgive me. Chapter 342 Destroying the Withered God's Kingdom of God, The Gods Shocked. This extremely large-scale storm of order just appeared. Its naturally dissipated power caused the plane of the endless abyss to vibrate. For a moment. Countless demon lords and evil gods living in the endless abyss were alarmed. They searched to find out what happened. It was discovered that the source of the vibration of the endless abyss plane was just behind the 89th floor, the wilderness. These powerful existences immediately cast their sights over there. I don't know the huge impact caused by the storm of order that I released. Ren manipulated this storm of order with the power to destroy galaxies, and swept towards the kingdom of God in Guzel. Woo. 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 A huge storm representing the world order, with the supreme power to destroy all chaos and evil. The kingdom of God that enveloped Guzul. Under the strangling of the storm of order. Guzul's withered kingdom is like a candle in a storm, crumbling. Go on like this. At most ten minutes, this kingdom of God will be completely destroyed. At that time, Ji Yuzur, who is located in the 19th of the kingdom of God, will be seriously injured if he is not killed. Hold me. Feel the danger of death. Ji Yuzul was also extremely terrified in his heart, and began to burn his divine power reserves without hesitation. Bless your own kingdom of God. However, this obviously doesn't do much. The power of order storm is enough to destroy a large plane. Its attributes are extremely restrained against the chaotic camp. Both ways. Guzel struggled in vain, it's just a delay. But. The plane of the abyss is the territory of the gods of the chaotic evil camp. As a hostile god of order, the longer you stay here, the greater the risk. Understand this. Ren naturally wouldn't let Guzel delay. Immediately add another force. Infuse all the divine power stored by the avatar of order into the scales of order. Get a lot of god blessing. The power of the storm of order soared several times in an instant. The scale is huge. Even standing in the starry sky tens of light years away, you can see it clearly. In less than ten minutes, the golden hurricane that tore everything apart directly and completely shattered Guzul's kingdom of God. As for the god of withering, Guzul, the body suffered serious injuries. Directly reduced to a bereaved dog, he ran away and disappeared. No opportunity for Ren to intercept, to this. Ren didn't pay much attention either. Before he came, he didn't expect to be able to kill the god of withering. This kind of veteran evil god who has been a god for an unknown number of years is an extremely difficult character. The strength does not necessarily have to be so strong. But there must be many cards for life-saving. Want to kill it? That's not an easy thing to do. Even powerful gods may not be able to do it. With the help of the High Order Artifact, it is already an extremely huge result to smash his kingdom of god. Foreseeable. For a long time in the future, there will be no trace of the god of withering, Guzel, in the universe. After all. 
without the protection of the kingdom of God. The main body also suffered quite serious injuries. This is definitely a big piece of fat, in this case. If Ji Zul doesn't act like a god with his tail between his legs, he is seeking his own death. Other evil gods who are eager to improve their strength will never let him go. Time to leave. After completing the purpose of this trip, Ran immediately manipulated the two avatars to prepare to leave the endless abyss. Under the ravages of the storm of order, this layer of abyss has already begun to move toward destruction. Never leave again. Being involved in it will waste a lot of divine power. And at this moment, go to hell, accompanied by a female voice of resentment and hatred. Countless spider webs exuding a terrifying and dark atmosphere emerged out of thin air. Headed toward Ren to loom over, Queen Rose Spider? Ren was also surprised to find out who the owner of the voice was. The Rose Spider Empress is already very powerful. Two of his avatars confront it, it is tantamount to courting death. Lost a lot of divine power and source of priesthood in vain. Space Shuttle. Think here. Ren manipulated the space avatar without hesitation, launching the space control ability to travel through the void. The person who controls the ability with space, even Losander, the sun god, couldn't stop him. Not to mention, this newly promoted powerful divine power is the Empress Rose Spider. After breaking through the spider web blockade of the Rose Spider Queen, Ren didn't stop for a moment, continue to control the two avatars and travel through the void. Prepare to leave the lower interface, and Queen Rose, who has a huge hatred for Ren, obviously doesn't want to just let Ren go. Madness attacks Ren. Some powerful existences from other abyssal planes also followed suit. After all, a god of the order camp broke into the abyss alone. If you let him leave safely, that was too much of a slap in the face for them. So many powerful evil gods besieged together, ordinary gods must surely die. Before long it will be reduced to cosmic dust, but Ren dealt with it very calmly. The two avatars shuttle between virtual and real dimensions, easily avoiding most attacks. The few attacks that cannot be dodged can also be easily resisted by 487 by using the world protection of the world of Mirror Flower and Water Moon. Under the angry eyes of many evil gods, Ren left unscathed. Disappeared in the lower interface, such a big movement. It is naturally impossible for the gods on the upper interface not to receive the news. Knowing that Ren manipulated two avatars into the endless abyss, defeated the old evil god Guzel, and finally retreated under the attack of many evil gods. All the gods were shocked, although I know that Ren is extremely powerful. But they never thought that they could be so fierce. To know, Guzel is a powerful evil god with a godhead level of 44. Even powerful divine power may not be able to destroy the opponent's kingdom of God. Ren was able to blow up Guzul's kingdom of God. The truth is off the charts as for the fact that Ren escaped unscathed under the siege of many evil gods. On the contrary, it didn't cause much disturbance. After all, before the battle between Ren and the Solar God system, they had already seen how incredible Ren running ability was. Even powerful gods are helpless. Those evil gods couldn't do anything to Ren. It couldn't be more normal. Just when most of the gods were shocked. Some gods were terrified when they heard the news. Chapter 343 Countercurrent Time Super Floating City Attack. Upper Interface. Wild Beast Plane. At this time. In the Kingdom of the God of the Wilderness, there are 13 incarnations of gods gathered. Most of them exude divine power fluctuations with weak divine power. Only the incarnation of the God of the Wilderness, Kano, who sat at the head seat, reached the weak level of divine power. Your Majesty, what should we do now? If the God of Light finds out that we deliberately tripped up and summoned the evil gods, then. The god of beasts said. There was a trace of fear and panic in his eyes. No way. Ren record is scary, no, it's scary. Break into the abyss by force and blow up the kingdom of gods with medium power gods. Let the veteran evil god, Guzel, become a homeless dog. Change it to their words. The end will only be more miserable. After all, they don't have the strength of Guzel. If discovered by Ren, they will definitely die very ugly. Think here. The god of beasts also began to regret it. Why is he obsessed with ghosts, and he cooperates with the god of the wilderness to engage in these small tricks? Isn't it just that the number of believers has been greatly reduced? Big deal. Just change places and continue preaching. As immortal gods, he has an infinite lifespan to squander. Why offend the god of light, who is in the limelight, just because of such a small matter, and a moment of anger? The other gods have the same idea. I was terrified and uneasy. 
In fact, the god of the wilderness, Kano himself, was not much better. After all, his body is nothing more than a middle-level divine power. Before, he thought that Ren couldn't defeat the kingdom of God with medium power. As long as you hide in the kingdom of God, you don't need to worry about safety. Only then did he want to unite with other gods to make a secret move to vent his anger. By the way, let's see if we can snatch those believers back. Result. Who would have thought that Ren fighting power would be so powerful? I knew it earlier, he would never do that, now he is numb too. But, it's no use panicking now, things have been done. We must find a way to deal with the aftermath, otherwise. There must be big trouble. Think here. Kano suppressed the restlessness in his heart, and calmly said, Everyone, don't worry. I have cleaned up the traces of summoning the evil god. It also consumes a lot of divine power crystals to cover up the relevant traces of fate. It is impossible for the god of light to find out about us. Heard the words. The hearts of the other twelve gods immediately felt a lot more at ease. Let's chat for a while. The gods present left in a hurry. Although Kanu made a guarantee, but not afraid of accidents, just in case. In order to ensure nothing goes wrong, they still decided to hurry back and deal with the beginning and end. I don't know how frightened the gods who are making small moves behind the scenes are. At this time, Ran has borrowed the body of a saint to come to Roland Continent. Start to investigate who is behind this evil god incident. There is no reason to be a thief for a thousand days, but to be a thief for a thousand days. If those people are not found out, maybe, this will happen again in the future. In order to get it done once and for all, and also to dispel the crooked thoughts of other gods. Ran wants to find all the guys who made trouble. Then send them all back to the west. But, the opponent's head and tail were indeed cleaned up very cleanly. Even Ran careful probing failed to turn up any useful clues. Using divination spells doesn't work either. Ordinary gods have progressed to this point, and most of them have nothing to do. He can only wait for the other party to show his feet next time. But Ren is clearly no ordinary deity, speak up. After time manipulation, the world's protection is completely completed, the timeline travel ability obtained has not been used yet. It's just a good time to try the effect this time. Thinking like this, Ren immediately activated the time manipulation and rushed into the river of time. Start swimming upstream. After spending tens of thousands of drops of divine power, Ren successfully returned to ten days ago. Witness with your own eyes how a dozen small sects headed by the wilderness church summoned the evil god, Guzel. There are quite a few gods who engage in small tricks. Ren sneered. Obviously. The reason why these churches did this is obviously instigated by the gods behind them. After understanding the truth of this matter, Ren didn't intend to directly kill the priests of these sects to prevent the evil gods from descending. Haven't tried it though. But his intuition told him that rashly modifying the timeline is an extremely dangerous thing. It is likely to trigger some huge and unpredictable crises. Therefore, Ren ended up doing nothing, activating the time manipulation ability. Return to your own timeline. Next, it's time to settle accounts with those gods who engage in petty tricks. Withdrawing the consciousness and divine power that came to the saint, a cold light flashed in Ren's eyes. The first thing to look for is naturally the deity enshrined by the wilderness church, Kano. See the situation from his timeline travel. This guy is obviously the chief culprit who led the incident of the advent of the evil god. Think here. Ren directly controlled the space avatar and dispatched the floating city. No way. Although the power of the eight ring magic of the balance of order is powerful. But it can only be used against chaotic evil gods. Otherwise, can't start at all, in this case. Want to break through the kingdom of the god of the wilderness Kano. The floating city is an indispensable boost, and. After installing the super large miser energy core, the floating city has not yet been dispatched. This time is just a chance to try how powerful the complete super floating void city is. With such an idea, Ren drove the floating city and flew towards the wild beast plane. The wild beast wilderness is not far from the plane of Joseph's garden. Half an hour later, the floating city successfully arrived at the beast wilderness plane. The wild god is a medium power, it is also well known among the gods who live in the barbaric wilderness plane. Ren easily found the opponent's kingdom of god. Asterisk asterisk asterisk. Seeing Ren driving the floating void city coming aggressively. The heart of the god of wilderness, Kano, suddenly rose. Also full of doubts. What the hell is going on here? I have clearly dealt with all the traces, why did I still come to the door? Could it be possible? 
The other gods who shot together betrayed themselves? Impossible. Before the shot, all the gods signed the sticks contract. Impossible to divulge and betray him. Your majesty the god of light, what is the purpose of your visit? Good money, was full of doubts. Kano sent his avatar and asked tentatively, Your majesty Kano. Why did I come to visit, you should know what's going on in your heart. Ren narrowed his eyes slightly, and said with a cold smile. Heard the words, Kano didn't know that he was exposed. Although I don't know how to expose it, but look at Ren's attitude. This matter will definitely not be good, without hesitation. Kano immediately manipulated the avatar to strike first. However, Ren was prepared. Kano was imprisoned by the space control ability as soon as he started. Immediately afterwards, the void spear shoots out. No accidents, instant kills. Full firepower, target Kano's divine kingdom. After dealing with Kano's incarnation, Ren gave an attack order to Ta Ling in the floating city. He can't wait to see how powerful this super floating city owned by the former great arcanist Karthus was in its heyday. Chapter 344 Attacking the Kingdom of the Wilderness God, the God of the Wilderness Begging for Mercy? The launch pad of war magic starts. Time space anchor lock complete. Get orders. Ta Ling immediately began to control the floating city to enter the war mode. Super gravity bomb. Time cut. Karthus unlimited missile. In less than a minute. A series of extremely powerful and powerful 12 ring magic condensed into shape. Bombarded towards the kingdom of Kano below. At the same time, the time space anchor is also activated to solidify the surrounding space time and prevent Kano from escaping. With such a high intensity firepower output, a huge gap was quickly blasted out of the barrier of Kano Divine Kingdom. Without hesitation, Ren directly ordered Tailing to control the floating city and break into Kano's kingdom of God. No way. It is too difficult to directly blow up a kingdom of gods with medium divine power. Previously, he was able to successfully defeat the kingdom of the god of withering. Thanks to the powerful power of the storm of order, it also extremely restrains the kingdom of god and gods with chaotic and evil attributes. The situation is different now. There is no specifically targeted high-level magic. With only the attack strength of the floating void city, it is difficult to break through the tolerance limit of the kingdom of god with medium divine power. It doesn't make much sense to fight a protracted war. 337 Kano hiding in the kingdom of God. Fully capable of using divine power to continuously repair the barriers of the kingdom of God. Continue like this. In another hundred years, it will be difficult to win Kanu. Therefore, long drive straight in is the best choice. As long as it can take down Kano's body, this battle will be over immediately. Just when Ren attacked Kano God Kingdom, the gods of the savage wilderness plane were also alarmed. The kingdom of the god of the wilderness is under attack. Is the attacker under the crown of the god of light? See this scene. Many gods were very puzzled. Some are confused. Why did these two powerful gods suddenly face each other? But those gods who knew the inside story and participated in it were trembling. They know that what they and others have done may have been completely exposed. If it is the kingdom of god who destroys the wilderness under the crown of the god of light. I'm afraid it will be their turn later, think here. These gods were also terrified in their hearts, photographed in Ren's prestigious name. Some determined gods resolutely confessed and chose to run away. Leave the upper interface and go to other planes to avoid the limelight. But most gods do not have such, Sebek, courage. Abandoning the kingdom of God that he had run for many years, he wandered to other planes. The risk is too high, without the protection of the kingdom of God. The main body is swaying in the outside world, which is tantamount to being a child holding money in the market. If it is targeted by other powerful existences, I'm afraid it's ugly to die. Therefore, most of the gods chose to wait and see the situation. Think again. As for going to the kingdom of God of the wilderness to help. They are still very self-aware, without moving the body. Their incarnations are not qualified to be involved in this level of battle. It's completely cannon fodder, it won't do much. No matter what thoughts these gods have in mind, how uneasy they are. The battle between Ren and Kano continues, and it has completely entered the white hot stage. Pilot the floating city. Rush into Kano's kingdom of God. Ren immediately felt the oppression of the law from the opponent's kingdom of God. The whole body attribute dropped by 30% immediately. The combat power plummeted several times, but. Ren didn't panic at all. He dared to break into the opponent's kingdom of God, so he had already prepared countermeasures. Open the independent field. Ren ordered to Tarling. 
as the great arcanist Carthus spent countless efforts to build a war fortress to compete with the gods. This super-floating city itself is equivalent to a small movable kingdom of God. Naturally, it is impossible not to have the means to deal with the kingdom of the gods. Charging is complete. The domain ritual is activated. Accompanied by this emotionless mechanical sound. A chaotic shield composed of the four elements of earth, wind, fire and water envelop the floating city. Completely isolate the inside from the outside world. There is no influence of the laws of the kingdom of God. Ren's strength returned to normal levels, at this moment. Kill. The incarnation of Kano led countless heavily armed petitioners to kill Ren. Want to prevent Ren from going deep into the kingdom of God. Ultra long distance portal. Not wanting to waste time dealing with these petitioners, Ren activated the space control ability immediately. Completely disregarding the blockade of Kano's laws of the kingdom of God. Open a giant portal to your own kingdom of God, for a moment. Tens of millions of angels flew out of the portal. Under the leadership of three twelve-winged archangels. Fight with the petitioners of Kano. Although Kano's side has the huge blessing of the kingdom of God. However, Ren Angel Legion far surpassed the opponent in terms of individual strength and numbers, and the opponent was defeated steadily by direct attacks. In this case, Ren drove the floating city and drove straight into it. Arrive at the temple in the center of the kingdom of God. At this time, the body of the god of wilderness, Kano, has been waiting here for a long time. T. That was indeed my fault. I am willing to pay 10,000 yuan of divine power crystals and a set of medium level divine equipment as compensation. How is this so far? Kano spoke sincerely. He really didn't want to start a war with Ren. After all, Ren's track record is intimidating. The strength of the battle is beyond common sense. It cannot be viewed on the surface at all. He didn't have much confidence in winning the battle. Once lost, his life is probably coming to an end. Therefore, he didn't dare to gamble, have to say. Kano's compensation is still very sincere. 10,000 divine power crystals are equivalent to 10 million drops of divine power. Plus a medium artifact set. This is definitely a pretty amazing wealth. However, Ren was unimpressed by this. The purpose of his trip is to establish prestige. Borrow Kano's head to dispel the crooked thoughts of other gods. Let the development of the bright church go more smoothly. This benefit wanted him to let the god of the wild go. That's impossible. Moreover, just kill Kano, god of the wild. These things are still his trophies, therefore. Ren directly rejected Kano's proposal for a compensation truce. Impossible. From the moment you hit me, your fate is sealed. Falling and dying is your only ending, Ren said blankly. Hear what Ren said. Kano was also angry immediately. Too arrogant. It just didn't take him seriously. Do you really think he is a fish at the mercy of others? It's unbearable. Realize that this matter cannot be resolved peacefully. Kano immediately held a saber-shaped artifact. Launch a fierce attack on Ren with murderous intent. Chapter 345 Killing the God of the Wilderness and Going to the Plain of Bliss As a god of medium divine power, the strength of the God of the Wilderness Kano is still very strong. Coupled with the blessing of the land of the Kingdom of God. Even if Ren is driving the super-floating void city, it will be difficult to defeat him. Certainly. Kano also couldn't get past the super-floating city's protection, causing any damage to him. The two sides have played against each other thousands of times, and there is still no winner. Seeing that the battle situation has reached a stalemate, Ren decisively began to shake people. Activate the space control talent again to open the space door to your own kingdom of God. Don't know what Ren wants to do though. But Kano immediately mobilized the laws of the kingdom of God in an attempt to destroy the space space gate. However, the space control talent is too high. It's not something Kano can shake at all. Next second. The incarnation of order and the incarnation of light came out of it. Are you also of medium divine power? Seeing that Ren possessed three incarnations of gods, Yin Eno was also shocked. Kano's question was ignored. Ren manipulated three avatars to start a siege against Kano. Order God's domain. Space ban. The light of the pure world. Due to the passive effect of the high-level artifact, the balance of order, balance order. The incarnation of order is temporarily raised from the weak level of divine power to the 41st level, medium divine power, equivalent to Kano's body in an instant. The strength soared more than a hundred times, it's not over yet. Ren directly stimulates the seventh level magic that comes with the high-level artifact, the balance of order. Boom. 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 Next second. Countless powers of order exuding a supreme aura descended. 
temporarily transform Kano's kingdom of God into the domain of order. For a moment, Kano lost the power blessing from the kingdom of God. At the same time, even the right to control the power of the laws of the kingdom of God was lost. How can it be? Feeling this, Kano's face was full of disbelief. My heart was completely panicked. However, Ren didn't give the other party any time to react. After temporarily disintegrating the opponent's geographical advantage, the space incarnation directly activates the supreme talent space control and forcibly solidifies the space around Kano. Control the opponent's actions. Then, the incarnation of light and the super floating city that have already been ready to launch directly output it crazily. Boom boom boom. One after another extremely powerful divine arts and magic fell on Kano. If it weren't for Kano wearing a set of medium artifact suits, it would have reduced a lot of damage. I'm afraid it's about to turn into a corpse, even so. Kano's condition is not much better, the whole body was scorched black. Bone scars are everywhere. Countless golden divine blood exuding an immortal aura gushed out like a spring. The breath weakened visibly to the naked eye. Die. Seeing such a remarkable result, Ren continued to shoot without hesitation. Beat the dog in the water. Order is the main attack, space is control, and light is support. Cooperate with the super floating city whose power is comparable to that of a medium level god. Kano, who was hit hard, was almost powerless to fight back. Go on like this. Defeat is only a matter of time. I still want to promote a powerful divine power and create my own divine system. I absolutely can't fall here. Feeling the shadow of death gradually covering him, a trace of fear flashed in the eyes of the god of the wilderness Kano. Immediately recall the two incarnations who were dealing with the Angel Legion. Resist Ren Onslaught. Subsequently, the main body flew towards the outside of the gods at the fastest speed. The battle is here, the situation is already clear. He is completely defeated, if you continue to stay, you will undoubtedly die. Only by running away can there be a chance of survival. However, according to Ren, Kano's actions were nothing more than a dying struggle. Eggs are useless. Want to run? Dream. Sneered. Ren incarnation of order directly activates the seventh level magic that comes with the balance of order. Wow. Golden chains representing world order emerged out of thin air. Directly bundle the god of the wilderness Kano into rice dumplings. Then. In Kano's eyes of despair and resentment. Ren's space avatar appeared in front of him out of thin air, stabbing fiercely with the void spear in his hand. It directly penetrates Kano's head completely annihilate the vitality in its body. Since then, the god of the wilderness, Kano, completely fell into the hands of Ren. With the fall of Kano, the kingdom of the wilderness also completely collapsed. Not covered by the barrier of the kingdom of God. The gods who continued to pay attention to this battle naturally saw the scene inside. Hiss. See the god corpse hanging from the spear in Ren's hand. All the gods couldn't help but gasp. His eyes were full of shock and trance. The god of the wilderness, Kano, who possessed medium divine power, Dot has died. Being forcibly killed by the incarnation of the weak divine power and the god of light in his own kingdom of God? Unless you see it with your own eyes, they couldn't believe that there was such a bizarre thing. Can't even imagine how on earth this is done, come to yourself. These gods looked at Ren in awe suddenly. Ignored the eyes of these gods. Asking for flowers. Ren put all the valuable items in Kano's god corpse and the wilderness kingdom into the storage space. After packing up the loot, Ren wasted no time, manipulating the space avatar to quickly move on to the next target. To prevent those gods who engage in petty movements from fleeing directly when they see that the situation is not good. But. Even though Ren was in a hurry, he was still one step too late. Those gods with a guilty conscience have been watching the situation. After seeing the most powerful wild gods being easily taken down by Ren. These gods were terrified in their hearts, and decisively chose to give up the kingdom of God. Run straight away. Except that the five gods who walked slower and were closer were blocked by Ren. The other gods have long since disappeared without a trace. I don't know where I went. To this. Ren didn't bother to waste his power, jumping the timeline to trace the whereabouts of these little Karami. Anyway. The life of a god with medium divine power and several weak divine powers is enough to stand up. The strength of those fish that escape the net is low, and they can't make any big waves. Destroy the kingdom of god, the last troublesome god. Ren immediately ended the operation and left the savage wilderness plain. Embark on the return journey. When he passes through the plain of bliss. 
suddenly something sounded to Ren. That is, the god of the wilderness, Kano, seems to have a daughter who lives in the plain of bliss. According to the information he collected before, this daughter was born to a female demigod during the time of the Karnoans. Only. Kano conferred the gods successfully, and the female demigod failed to survive the baptism of the world's great source, and fell completely. With the support of Kano, the daughter he had with a female demigod succeeded in becoming a god and became immortal. If I remember correctly, Kano's daughter is the noble goddess Kadia. Ren thought to himself, this goddess is a level weaker than her father. Possesses low-level divine power, and holds the four priesthoods of nobility, nobility, womanhood, and etiquette. The fighting power is not strong, although this goddess is currently incapable of posing any threat to him. But just in case, Ren decided to kill the grass. After all, this high magic world full of gods and spirits is never short of miracles. There used to be a mortal who obtained the godhead of the ancient god of death and became a god with powerful divine power. If this noble goddess also gets a similar great opportunity and her strength soars, then she will find him to avenge her father's death. That's somewhat of a hassle, it's better to do it now and get rid of this hidden danger. Think here. Ren decisively changed his direction and flew towards the plain of Elysium. Chapter 346 Serving and Killing Father and Enemy The Noble Goddess Who Actively Submits Enter the Plain of Bliss. After asking the local gods, Ren easily found the kingdom of the noble goddess Kadia. Without hesitation, he directly launched space control. Tear down the barrier of the kingdom of God and break in. Ren didn't even bother to bring the floating void city to attack the kingdom of the noble goddess this time. After all, a female deity who has no combat priesthood, and whose strength is not considered strong among weaker divine powers. He can easily hang with one hand. That's when Ren forced his way in. Someone forcibly invaded my kingdom of God. The noble goddess Kadia, who is cultivating in the central temple of the kingdom of God, also sensed this. Suddenly his face changed drastically. Immediately, I will send my avatar to check the situation. Block that uninvited visitor, however, before Kadia could make a move. Ripples appeared in the void in front of her. Then, a handsome and majestic divine figure stepped out of it. Your Majesty the God of Light? 827. After seeing the person clearly, Kadia immediately recognized Ren's identity, and her beautiful eyes were full of puzzlement and disbelief. She never thought of it. The god who suddenly invaded his own kingdom of God turned out to be this powerful new god with great reputation. After all, she never had anything to do with Ren. Not to mention any grudges with it, I don't know the doubts in Kadia's heart. Ren was a little amazed at the noble goddess in front of him. To be honest, before coming here, he never thought that the daughter of the god of wilderness Kano would be so beautiful. Or windy and charming. What appeared in front of his eyes was a woman wearing a lavender close-fitting lady's dress. The skirt slits down the thigh. It reveals long white, slender and sensual legs. The upturned and round shape wrapped in the skirt is even more amazing. Makes a perfect heart shape. Every part of the body reveals the ultimate beauty unique to women. Sensual and plump. Just looking at it makes people feel excited. To be honest, after seeing the beauty of this noble goddess, he was a little reluctant to kill this goddess. Direct killing is too wasteful, it's better to take it home and let it help give birth. Certainly, if the noble goddess is not willing, he also won't force each other. According to the original idea, continue to cut grass and roots. Your majesty the god of light, what's the matter with your sudden visit? If I accidentally offend you somewhere, I am willing to compensate you for all losses. Not sure what was going on in Ren's mind. Kadia couldn't help but ask. The posture is very low. She knew exactly how powerful Ren really was. This is a powerful existence that can force a first-class god system like the sun god system to take the initiative to bow its head. It is definitely not something that ordinary weak gods like her can afford to provoke. Face this strong man. Even in her own kingdom of god, Kadia has no sense of security. You didn't offend me. It's your father, god of the wilderness, Kano. Hearing this, Ren briefly explained the matter. After learning that his father, the wild god, had fallen to Ren. There was also a trace of sadness and sadness in Kadia's beautiful eyes. Although because of her mother's death, her relationship with her father was not close. But no matter what, Kanu is also her father, to be honest. The moment she learned that her father Kano had fallen into the hands of Ren, she couldn't help but have the idea of revenge. But. This thought is only for a moment. Cardia knew exactly how much she weighed. Unless a miracle happens. Otherwise, 
it is impossible for her to complete her revenge in her entire life. No way. Killing her father and enemy is so powerful that she despairs. If nothing else, the strength of both sides will also grow bigger and bigger with the passage of time. In this case, say no to revenge, whether her own life can be saved is a question. Just like now, Ren suddenly broke into her divine kingdom. Obviously. Just want to kill her, cut the weeds and exterminate the roots. If you don't deal with it well, then what will happen to her? Think here. Katia couldn't help feeling a surge of fear in her heart, she quickly said, Your Majesty the God of Light, my relationship with the God of the Wilderness, Kano, is not good. If you are not at ease under the crown of the God of Light, I am willing to sign the Styx contract and swear that I will never be your enemy. Obviously. Compared to avenging a father with a bad relationship. In the heart of the noble goddess Katia, her own life is more important. Guarantee for Katia. Ren ignored it completely. Instead, he said bluntly, Oaths are meant to be broken, your promise means nothing to me. I only give you two ways, one, obediently kill yourself, two, become my woman. Of course, you can also choose to try to resist and kill me, who killed my father and my enemy. Finished. Ren quietly looked at the noble goddess in front of him, waiting for the other party to make a decision. Hear what Ren said. Katia was caught in a tangle in her heart. She doesn't want to die. Don't want to lose eternal life. But. Ask her to serve the man who killed her father, and be tactful and courteous under the enemy who killed her father. She couldn't get over this threshold, in this case. Katia couldn't make a decision for a long time, as for resistance. The idea never crossed her mind. The strength gap between the two sides is too great. To resist is to seek death. One minute, two minutes. Three minutes. Seeing that Katia kept silent and making choices, Ren Patience was also exhausted. He raised the void spear in his hand, ready to give this noble goddess a ride. After all, he just saw the color, just on a whim. If this noble goddess is not knowledgeable, he is too lazy to waste time on her. I am willing. I am willing to be your woman. Feel Ren killing intent. In a tangled state, Katia's desire to survive instantly overwhelmed the so-called shame and humiliation made my own choice, it would have been better if it had been earlier. Heard the words. Ren immediately put down the void spear in his hand. Since the noble goddess is willing to surrender. Naturally, he would not be violent and kill it directly. After all, this goddess looks really nice, it can be called a peerless stunner. Coupled with the heavy attribute buff of the enemy's daughter. Press it under your body for profanity. Definitely a sense of accomplishment. Did not say. Ren immediately hugged Katia start to experience it. For the action of Ren, having already made a choice, Katia will naturally not resist. Even took the initiative to cater. Soon, an extremely intense symphony sounded. 1.0. That's when Ren gets to experience the beauty of the enemy's daughter in depth. The circle of gods on the upper interface is not peaceful. In a short period of time, Ren forcibly broke into the kingdom of the god of the wilderness, and it spread completely. No way. The news was too explosive. Involved in the death of a god of medium divine power. To know. Medium divine power is already the mainstay in the circle of gods. The strength is extremely powerful. Even the gods should be given a certain amount of respect. In general, it is very difficult for a god of this level to fall. The most recent mid divine power level deity can be traced back to 8000 years ago. The reason is that an extremely powerful god was born. His body was killed by the gods. In this case, it was heard that a god of medium divine power was forcibly killed and fell. One can imagine how shocked the gods were. Chapter 347 Promotion to the Peak of Weak Divine Power, Creating 14 Winged Angels. Isn't the god of the wilderness, Kano, a god of medium divine power? How could he have suddenly fallen? Could it be a mistake? Absolutely not wrong. According to the news from Pixius, the god of information, the person who killed the god of the wilderness is the rapidly rising god of light, Ren. This god of light forcibly invaded the kingdom of the god of the wilderness, and forcibly killed the god of the wilderness. Many gods saw it with their own eyes. Hiss. The strength of this light god's crown is increasing too fast, it is unimaginable that he has the strength to forcibly kill mid-level gods after a hundred years of conferring a god. I have been a god for nearly ten thousand years, and I am still a weak divine power. There is really no comparison between gods and gods. The gap is too big. The gods were talking about it. I feel even more in awe of Ren. At the same time, 
The reason why Ren stormed the kingdom of the god of the wilderness was also dug out by some gods with strong intelligence capabilities. After understanding the reason for the fall of the god of the wilderness, a mid-level god. While the gods were shaking, their hearts trembled. Especially those gods whose believers have been siphoned by the church of Illuminati. Immediately, the crooked thoughts in my heart were completely dispelled. 21 I can't help but give up after all. The lessons learned from the past are there. Really try or die. They don't think that their heads are stronger than the mid-level divine power of the wild god. It can be said that the effect of Ren standing upright is remarkable. Avoided a lot of miscellaneous troubles. I don't know what other gods have discussed about themselves. At this time, Ren has completed an in-depth experience with the noble goddess. The aristocratic goddess Cardia with a pretty flushed face. Back on the way home again. Return to the Kingdom of Light. After arranging accommodation for Katia, Ren began to count the spoils of his operation. More than 15,000 divine power crystals, a set of medium suits, and many pieces of low-level miracle doctors. There is also a god with medium power, and five corpses and godheads of gods with weak power. Sure enough. A man is not rich without windfall, and a horse is not fat without nightgrass. Looking at the trophies in front of him, Ren was all smiles. If these trophies are to be released from the system, at least three to five waves of baby boomers will be required. This wave is really profitable. Did not say. Ren immediately began disposing of the spoils. The first is the crystallization of divine power. Re-transform pieces of divine power crystals into divine power and integrate them into your own godhead minister. When it reaches the 2820th yuan, Ren godhead space was completely full. The reserve of divine power reached 3.2 million drops. After collecting the divine power needed for promotion, Ren did not hesitate to activate the space priesthood in his body, and turned this majestic and vast divine power into the power of space rules to nourish the godhead. Under the nourishment of this power of rules, the godhead in Ren began to advance to a higher level. The volume keeps increasing, and at the same time, two crystal planes are derived from the surface again. Wait until all changes are over. The volume of the perfect godhead increased by 30%. The immortal supreme aura that comes with it is getting stronger and stronger. The 39th step breakthrough was successful. After the godhead promotion is completed. Ren didn't intend to stop, and continued to absorb the crystallization of divine power. Although after breaking through the 39th rank, the promotion requires more than 4 million drops of divine power. But there are still more than 12,000 pieces of divine power crystals left. It is more than enough to gather the divine power required for promotion. Another 4,000 divine power crystals were absorbed. Ren mobilized the space priesthood to make a breakthrough. The breakthrough process went very smoothly. After a few days, Ren Godhead level has reached level 40 impressively. The weak wait for the peak of divine power, but it is very difficult to break through again, because the 40th to 41st ranks are the promotion of a large realm, and the divine power required for promotion is as high as tens of millions. It is also necessary to have a deeper understanding and control of one's own priesthood. Absorb all the remaining divine power crystals. Ren divine power reserve has only reached more than 8 million drops. It is still more than a million drops away from the divine power required for promotion. But. Ren was satisfied too. After all. In less than half a month, he broke through two levels in a row. This speed of improvement can be called a rocket. After the godhead level reaches 40th order. Ren felt himself nearly ten times stronger. At the same time, the control of the authority of the priesthood has become more and more handy. The range of controllable operating space has increased by more than 50%. After adapting to the power of its own skyrocketing, Ren turned his attention to the artifacts. These artifacts have different attributes and uneven quality. It is far worse than the high-quality artifacts developed by the system. Therefore, Ren directly recycled all these artifacts to the family mall swish. A white light flashed. These artifacts have completely disappeared. Then. Ren account has more than 20 million system currency. How to use this huge wealth? Ren had already made up his mind. He was going to spend it on his wife. Help wives improve their strength. After all. He can get to where he is today, thanks to the contributions of his wives. Of course he wants to give back. Moreover, the enhanced strength of wives can also drive the improvement of children's qualifications. Form a virtuous circle. Kill two birds with one stone. After finalizing the use of more than 20 million system currencies, Ren shifted his gaze to the god corpses. The godhead and priesthood are the most valuable of these god corpses. 
although the Godhead will automatically shatter after the death of the God. But the fragments of Godhead left behind are also infinitely useful. Demigods can use it to greatly increase their chances of becoming a god. Besides, it is also a high quality auxiliary material for casting artifacts. Add it in. Can greatly increase the power of the artifact. If one piece of Godhead shards with medium divine power and five weak divine powers are used properly, it will not be a problem to forge an extremely powerful high level divine weapon. And not to mention priesthood, he still has many wives who are not conferred gods. There is a huge gap in priesthood. After the Godhead was broken 647, the priesthood of the six gods also dissipated a lot. Only the six priesthoods of wilderness, mountains, swamps, beasts, courage, and trickery remain intact. Among them, the wilderness and mountains are left over from the god of the wilderness, Kano, the priesthood of the wilderness is the original level, and the priesthood of the mountains is the regular level. And the other four priesthoods are all rule level. Needless to say, the preciousness of these high level priesthoods. Great value. After some careful consideration, Ren has also figured out how to distribute the six priesthoods. The first is the most important source level wilderness priesthood. He decided to leave it to Wen Lena to use. The elf princess has been with him for so many years. He not only gave birth to many high quality heirs for him, but also forgave him for having an affair with Xiea. He was going to use this gift to make up for Wen Lena. Just right. Recently, Wen Lena's cultivation is about to break through the demigod perfection. And the other five rule level priesthoods are mountains, swamps, beasts, courage, and trickery. Consider the principles of fairness and priesthood fit. The priesthood of mountains is given to Diana, the goddess of the woodlands. The priesthood of the swamp is given to the goddess of springs, Lisnar. The priesthood of courage is handed over to Melita, the goddess of battle who was conferred a few years ago. As for the remaining two priesthoods of beast and trickery. For now. Among his goddess wives, there is no suitable user. Therefore, Ren is going to use these two rule level priesthoods to create 14 winged angels that are more advanced and powerful than 12 winged archangels. Chapter 348 The Power of the 14 Winged Angel, Breaking Through the Medium Divine Power? 14 winged angels are the highest level of angels that Ren can currently create. The level of strength is comparable to that of the weak gods. If manufactured, it can greatly enhance the high end strength of his angel legion. But, Manufacturing a powerful angel of this level consumes too much. The minimum standard also requires 3 million drops of divine power, a priesthood at the Ridao rule level. I don't know if adding godhead fragments as materials can reduce the cost. Ren thought suddenly. Godhead fragments are the embodiment of the core power of the gods. The essence is much higher than the divine power. Since it can be used to cast artifacts, it should also be able to be used to make angels. Try it and you'll know. Think here. Ren couldn't wait to try it out. Activate the mythical talent the heart of the supreme angel in the angel priesthood. Started making quadrangle angels. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Under the influence of the supreme angel heart talent. The divine power in the Ren godhead is continuously transformed into some kind of extremely miraculous creative power. With the regular level beast priesthood as the core, the godhead fragments of the god of the wilderness are used as auxiliary materials. Start to automatically build the body of the angel. Boom. Consumed about 1.5 million drops of divine power. An angel with 14 wings was fully formed. The whole body breath is extremely powerful. Impressively reached the weak level of divine power. The moment the angel takes shape. Ren automatically obtained the ability information of the angel of the beast. 39 steps. Possesses the special ability to freely transform into various monsters and mythical beasts, and has a super fighting instinct like a wild beast. Blood earned. Check the ability information of this angel of the beast. Ren face was full of surprise, to be honest. He also didn't expect the god of the wild god's godhead fragments to be so effective. Not only did it have the consumption of his divine power, but the angel he created was also much more powerful than he had imagined. Just look at the ability information panel of Angel of the Beast. Among the weaker divine powers, there are definitely not many gods who can beat the Angel of the Beast. With excitement. Ren used the godhead fragments of other gods to create a second 14-winged angel. Although the godhead level of these gods is a big realm weaker than the god of the wilderness. But the victory lies in the relatively large number of godhead fragments. Quantity can win. After consuming 2 million drops of divine power, the second 14 winged angel, the angel of trickery was born. The level of strength is 35 levels. 
possesses a powerful ability to cast spells, and is proficient in various special spells with strange and unpredictable effects. Let the Ice Angel Daisy take two 14 winged angels to report to the Angel Legion. Ren launched world protection devouring everything to devour the corpses of these six gods as nourishment for increasing his own attributes. Nothing is wasted. Do it all. Ren went to his wives with the remaining four clergy. Get a gift from your husband. Wen Lena, Diana, Lucina, and Melita were also very happy. That night, Ren was thanked by four wives, especially Wen Lena. Finally agreed to Ren's request. Team up with Mother Hilsa to serve Ren. Give Ren a wonderful psychological treat. In a blink of an eye, another three years have passed. Thanks to Ren's previous action that shocked the gods. The development of the Bright Church has not been hindered in the slightest. Thousands of miles a day. Coupled with the previous miraculous influence. Today, the number of followers of the Guangming Church has reached nearly 100 million. It can provide Ren with massive divine power every year. But. Ren increase in net income was not as dramatic as it might have been. One is that the number of believers has skyrocketed, priests have increased a lot, and the consumption of bestowing divine spells has naturally skyrocketed accordingly. Second, he still has a big family to support, in this case. The net income of Ren divine power is about 5 million drops a year. Count the divine power provided by the descendants of the Habs family. This number can go up to 1 million more, certainly. That's pretty good. Even if it is placed among the gods with medium divine power, it is definitely the first gear. It only takes one or two years to gather the 10 million drops of divine power needed to be promoted to medium divine power. In fact, Ren's divine power reserve has reached more than 13 million drops. If it is not for the understanding of one's own priesthood, it is not enough. He can now be promoted to the middle level of divine power. Except for this one, there are two other things that are worth mentioning. The first thing is that when Lena succeeded in conferring immortality, and became the goddess of the wilderness with the help of the original wilderness priesthood given by Ren. The second thing is that the wives are going to give birth. After more than 10 years of gestation, the bellies of the 13 wives including Shirza are already very big. Expected to give birth around this time, three months later. 13 wives including Shirza and Anna completed the production successively. A son of Ren was born. The 468th child of the host is detected to be born. The offspring's magic aptitude is a low-level god, and the fighting spirit aptitude is a low-level god. His hidden bloodline, Stellar Dragon, awakened, bloodline purity 100%, born with powerful talents such as Stellar Dragon Body, Stellar Dragon Scales, and Stellar Breath, is evaluated as star level, reward, 20,000 drops of divine power, 200 years of experience in space priesthood comprehension. The 469th child of the host is detected to be born. The offspring's magic aptitude is a low-level god, the fighting spirit aptitude is a medium-level god. Hidden Bloodline. Holy Dragon, during the gestation process, the mother conferred the gods, suffered the erosion of the world's origin, and the star dragon's bloodline undergoes a benign mutation, born with the authority of sacred and holy laws, born with powerful talents such as sacred dragon body, holy soul, and holy chant, evaluated as a bright moon, reward, 100,000 drops of divine power, 2,000 years of experience in space priesthood, supreme talent upgrade card, close black lens bracket. It was detected that the 470th child of the host was born. The offspring's magic aptitude is a low-level god, and the fighting spirit aptitude is a low-level god. Hidden bloodline, stellar dragon, has, Nuo Nuahau, awakened, bloodline purity 100%, born with powerful talents such as stellar control, stellar dragon body, stellar dragon breath, etc. Evaluation is star level, reward, 20,000 drops of divine power, 500 years of power priesthood experience. Close black lens bracket. The birth of the 471st child of the host has been detected. The offspring's magic aptitude is a demigod, and his fighting spirit aptitude is a low-level god. His hidden bloodline, stellar dragon, awakened, bloodline purity 95%, born with powerful talents such as stellar control, stellar dragon body, stellar dragon breath, evaluation as star level, reward, 20,000 drops of divine power 100 years of space priesthood experience. Close black lens bracket. This wave of baby boom is quite satisfactory. Except for the Huawei level heir Anna gave birth to, there is nothing to be surprised about. 13 children. 1 Huawei level, 12 Xingyao level. A total of 340,000 divine powers, 8,000 years of space priesthood experience, and 2,000 years of power priesthood experience were provided to Ren. And a supreme talent upgrade card. 
Chapter 349 Crowning the King of the Gods The Conspiracy of Queen Rose. Receive award. Ren thought silently. Swish. Next second. The divine power reserves in his godhead space reached 14.1 million drops. Powerfully complete the integrated union. Then there is the experience of priesthood comprehension. Countless realizations related to space and power emerged in his mind. As if I personally comprehended it, after absorbing it all, Ren immediately had a deeper understanding of the priesthood of space and power. The perfection of space priesthood has reached 85% from 57%. It is estimated that in another six or seven thousand years, the space priesthood experience and understanding experience will be transformed into the original level. Power priesthood perfection soared from 16% to 73%. It only takes another 2,000 years of power priest comprehension experience to be promoted to the original level. The last is the Supreme Talent Upgrade card. There was a flash of light. A dark golden card with the aura of Supreme Origin appeared in front of Ren. This is the third Supreme Talent Upgrade card that Ren has acquired. The first two cards allowed him to obtain the two Supreme Talents of the Son of Luck and Space Control, which brought him great help. Therefore, he is also extremely cautious in using this Supreme Talent Upgrade card. After some careful consideration, Ren finally chose the mythical talent time incarnation. The time incarnation talent can make an avatar have the same strength as his body 530. If it is upgraded to the highest talent, maybe all his avatars can have the same level of body strength. At that time, his fighting power skyrocketed dozens of times out of thin air. The benefits of upgrading can be described as huge. And if you upgrade other talents, it is obviously difficult to have such a big promotion. Think here. Ren didn't hesitate to use the Supreme Talent Upgrade card against the incarnation of Time Talent. Boom. Next second. A supreme and vast power came to Ren's soul C. And it acts on the Talent Rune representing the incarnation of Time. Under the action of this mighty force, the collection of Law Runes of the incarnation of Time instantly produced more brand new changes. Outlined a series of more mysterious law lines, begin to transform towards a higher level. After several hours, a rune of law emanating from an infinite time loop appeared in Ren's soul. The moment the upgrade is complete, Ren will automatically know the specific information of the talent. Infinite time clone, supreme quality, effect. As a child of time, you can infinitely connect your future self to connect it with the time flow of your avatar, and build a time paradox cycle, so as to keep all avatars consistent with the strength of the main body. Note. The highest avatar strength is level 50, the peak of powerful divine power. Perfect. Ren nodded in satisfaction, as expected. After being promoted to high quality, the number of time avatars changed from one to unlimited. The effect got a huge qualitative change. Wait for him to be promoted to a powerful divine power. He alone is equivalent to six powerful main gods, myself plus four incarnations of gods plus an additional incarnation obtained by mythical talent. At that time, which god can be his opponent, without any exaggeration? The day he was promoted to powerful divine power was the moment when he was crowned the king of the gods. Think here. Ren heart suddenly burned, certainly. No matter how beautiful the future is, it must be realized in a down-to-earth manner. Therefore, Ren decided to redouble his efforts to marry more wives and have children. A blink of an eye. Ten years have passed, this time. Ren accompanies his wife every day, educates his children, develops believers, and realizes his priesthood. Besides, you have to work hard for your own marriage. It can be said to have been quite fulfilling and busy. With his efforts, he successfully conceived the noble goddess Cadia whom he brought home a few years ago. Conceived with it. There are also Valketi, Frenna, Tina, Lila, Murphy, Alfia, Lifa, and Katie. Except for this good news, Ren, CTBE, has made great progress in his marriage. Perhaps it was the huge prestige and status improvement brought about by killing the gods with medium divine power. It is obviously much easier for Ren to attack other goddesses. This decade, Ren performed three more divine marriages. Married to the goddess of joy, Lyrla, the goddess of cats, Voris, and the goddess of sprouts, Senlia. These three goddesses are all weak gods, its beauty is also quite famous in the upper interface. In order to marry these three beautiful goddesses, it took a lot of work for Ren to pull it off. After marrying many famous goddesses one after another, Ren has the nickname of the God of Mary in the Circle of Gods on the Upper Interface. This nickname even spread wildly to many plain worlds in the universe along with the Lace News. 
Your Majesty the God of Light, you are truly a match. After learning about Ren's powerful record, which can be called a goddess harvester. Many men immediately worshipped and regarded Ren as their idol for life. Under the wrong circumstances, it's a windfall that Ren has found a group of alternative believers. While Ren was trying to get a wife and kids, at this time. Lower interface. The 66th floor of the Endless Abyss, the plane of the pit magic net. The Rose Queen is hatching a conspiracy against Ren. Since the promotion of powerful divine power, she has been keeping an eye on the situation of Ren, the sworn enemy. Originally, she was going to build her own super artifact, and then go to Ren to settle accounts. Destroy it to ashes. However, she didn't expect Ren's strength to improve so quickly. As Ren's strength reached the level enough to forcibly break into the kingdom of God with medium divine power and kill him. Queen Rose Spider couldn't sit still. Go on like this. Wait until she successfully casts her own super artifact. I'm afraid Ren has grown to the point where she can't help it. In this case, Queen Rose Spider naturally wanted to make an early move to completely wipe out Ren. But. Ren is clearly a thing now. The words of head on conflict. Unless she dares to send out her main body and go to the upper plane to fight the kingdom of Ren. Otherwise. Can't help it Ren therefore. She can only choose to use her best intrigue to achieve the purpose of strangling Ren, the sworn enemy. Knowing that Ren has a romantic personality, he likes beautiful and powerful women. Queen Lul Si deliberately paid a huge price to buy a well-known goddess as her blade leading to Ren. This goddess is Vol'jin, the goddess of wealth with medium divine power. Chapter 350 The Poison of the Fallen God, the 8th Rank Divine Art End of Time and Space The Spider Temple in the deepest part of the Endless Abyss, Pit and Magic Webplane a basin of dark purple candles exuding an ominous and evil aura hangs high on the ceiling of the temple. Unscrupulously releasing his own brilliance, provides light to this dark and gloomy temple. As the master of the temple, the Rose Spider Queen sat on the first seat. Quietly waiting for something. After about a few minutes, ripples appeared in the void inside the temple. A faint blue space portal opened. Then, a beautiful goddess in a gold dress and full of jewels stepped out of it with graceful steps. Your Majesty Woking, how do you think about my previous proposal? As long as you agree to help me plot to assassinate Ren, I can immediately give you the priesthood of greed. Seeing Vol'jin's incarnation appearing in her divine kingdom, the Spider Queen Rose smiled and said. In her opinion, if nothing else, Vol'jin would certainly agree. After all, the portfolio of greed and the portfolio of wealth are a perfect fit. Gain the portion of greed. The goddess of wealth, Wojin, who has stayed at the middle level of divine power for tens of thousands of years, can be qualified to be promoted to powerful divine power. Faced with such a huge temptation, there was absolutely no way Wealth Vol'jin would disagree. In fact, indeed, Vol'jin is very aggressive about the covetous priesthood reward. But she still has some worries in her heart, I can work with you. But how do I assassinate it? The God of Light is powerful enough to break into the kingdom of the middle level gods and kill him. Even if the opponent relaxes his vigilance, it will be difficult for me to kill him with one blow. At that time, the God of Light will react, and I am afraid that I will fall into it. Vol'jin asked very calmly, as the controller of the priesthood of wealth. Naturally, it is impossible for her to lose her mind. No matter how tempting the reward is, you have to die to get it. If there is no foolproof way, she would definitely not agree to cooperate with Rose the Spider Queen. Concerns about Goddess of Wealth Vol'jin the Rose Spider Queen smiled slightly, took out a black dagger with an ominous and depraved aura surging on its surface, and said. This is very simple. You just need to stab the God of Meteor's dagger into the heart of that God of Light when you are in good spirits with him. This fallen God dagger is powerful enough to pierce through most of the divine power defenses, and it also contains fallen God's toxins specially made by me. Talking. The face of Rose Spider Empress couldn't help revealing a smug look. This fallen god's poison is the painstaking effort after she was promoted to a powerful divine power. Based on the toxin branch that comes with the main priesthood spider, it adds a variety of powerful priesthood powers such as darkness, chaos, evil, and magic. Make it perfect meteor's poison by integrated union. Its toxicity is enough to affect powerful gods. The gods below the powerful divine power are recruited. Even if he was not killed on the spot, he would completely lose his ability to resist under the erosion of the fallen god's poison. In that case, I agree. After seeing the rose spider, he provided himself with such a powerful assassination method. Wojin didn't hesitate, and chose to agree directly. Wise choice. Hear Vol'jin's words, 
Queen Rose Spider was very happy. Then, Rose signed the most effective sticks contract with Vol'jin, set out the obligations of both parties, after the contract is completed. The Lolth Spider Queen handed over the priesthood of greed to Vol'jin together with the high-level artifact, the Meteor Dagger. After receiving the reward and weapons, Vol'jin swayed his elegant and moving figure, re-entered the portal, and disappeared into the kingdom of God behind Rose Spider. Finally able to get rid of that damned guy, watching the goddess of wealth, Volking, leave, there was an evil smile on Queen Rose's face, as if her plot was about to succeed. The last piece of the puzzle that I planned was finally assembled. This beauty trick is completely based on Ren character. Don't be afraid that Ren won't fall for it, in her opinion. Ren was absolutely dead this time. He didn't know that the conspiracy of Queen Rose Spider was attacking him. At this time, Ren still lives at his own pace. In addition to comprehending the priesthood of space and rubbing other goddesses every day. Just playing poker with the wives. Especially the three daughters who just got started a few years ago, the goddess of joy, Lyrla, the goddess of cats, Voris, and the goddess of sprouts, Senlia. It is also his key seeding target, with the tireless efforts of Ren. The three goddesses were soon pregnant. Eight other wives, including Angelina, Serena, and Imike, were pregnant at about the same time. Except for this good news, there is another great event. Pregnant for more than 20 years, 12 wives including Rainbow Dragon Ruili Le Fay and Queen Isabella finally showed signs of giving birth. For this batch of baby boomers, Ren also has a strong sense of anticipation. Because this batch of children is the first batch of offspring he sowed after his bloodline was promoted to medium divine grade bloodline nether dragon. If nothing else, the quality of this batch of children should be much higher than before. There may even be offspring with ratings above Huawei level. In Ren anticipation, time passed little by little. Three months later, the rainbow dragon Ruili Le Fay was the first to give birth. Asking for flowers, a son of Ren was born. The 480th child of the host is detected to be born, the offspring's magic aptitude is medium god, fighting spirit aptitude is medium god, hidden bloodline, void dragon, awakened, bloodline purity 100%, born to control the authority of space law, born with powerful talents such as void dragon body, void control, void shuttle, evaluated as Huawei level, reward, 100,000 drops of divine power, 2,000 years of experience in space priesthood, high-level artifact infinite radiance scepter, close black lens bracket. Rainbow Dragon Ruilil Fay gave birth to a bright moon-level heir in her first birth. A good start straight to Ren, this is undoubtedly a very good sign. With a cheerful mood, Ren took all these rewards. After all integrated union, his divine power reserves instantly reached 15 million drops. The perfection of space priesthood has also increased from 85% to 92%. It is not far from Ren mastering the original space priesthood. 0.0 is for the high level artifact of the light attribute, there is no need to say more. Directly used by the light incarnation. This high level artifact comes with three powerful 7th order light magic arts. It can also greatly reduce the consumption of light magic and increase its power. Equipped with this artifact. The incarnation of light can increase its strength by at least 10 times. Another year passed. Eleven wives, including Queen Isabella, also completed childbirth one after another. Twelve children were born. Among them, Queen Isabella gave birth to a pair of twins. Therefore, one more child came out. The 481st child of the host is detected to be born. The offspring's magic aptitude is medium god. Fighting spirit aptitude is medium god. Hidden bloodline. Void dragon. Awakened, bloodline purity 100%, born to control the authority of space law, born with powerful talents such as void dragon body, void control, void shuttle, etc. Evaluated as Huawei level, reward, 100,000 drops of divine power, 2,000 years of space priesthood experience, this artifact absolute order battle armor. Close black lens bracket. The 482nd child of the host is detected to be born, the descendant's magic aptitude is medium god, Fighting spirit aptitude is low level god, hidden bloodline. Void dragon, awakened, bloodline purity 100%, born to control the authority of space law, born with powerful talents such as void dragon body, void control, void shuttle, etc. Evaluated as Huawei level, reward, 100,000 drops of divine power, 2,000 years of life priesthood comprehension experience, advanced artifact sword of judgment of order. Close black lens bracket. The 483rd child of the host is detected to be born. The offspring's magic aptitude is medium god, fighting spirit aptitude is low-level god, hidden bloodline, 
Void Dragon, Awakened, Bloodline Purity 100%, Born to Control the Authority of Space Law, Born with Powerful Talents such as Void Dragon Body, Void Control, Void Shuttle, etc. Evaluated as Huawei Level, Reward, 100,000 Drops of Divine Power, 2,000 Years of Space Priesthood Experience, 8th Level Magic, End of Time and Space. Close Black Lens Bracket. Chapter 351 Consecutively Birth 12 Bright Moon Level Heirs, Establishing Angel Civilization. Take off. Looking at these system prompts, Ren was full of excitement. No wonder he lost his composure. The quality of this baby boom is too high. Although there are no heirs above Huawei level, but among these 12 children, apart from one star rating, the other 11 children are all at the Huawei level. If you count the children born to Rainbow Dragon Ruili Lefei, this wave of baby boomers produced a total of 12 Huawei level heirs. It can almost match the sum of the number of Huawei level heirs before. Such a high quality boomer. The rewards brought are naturally extremely rich. The guaranteed divine power reward alone is as high as 1.12 million. Besides, there are also 100% comprehension of the Law of Storms, 4,000 year space priesthood experience, 8,000 year life priesthood experience, 8,000 year destruction priesthood experience, and 2,000 year, 6 0, power priesthood experience. As well as 8 high level artifacts and an 8th level magic called the End of Time and Space. Needless to say, the previous rewards, the value of those eight high-level artifacts is extremely astonishing. To know, it would be good for an ordinary god with medium divine power to have a high-level artifact in his hands. A mid-level god with multiple high-level artifacts is definitely a rare existence. And Ren received eight high artifacts after giving birth to several children. If this is said, the gods must be envied to death. Not to mention the eighth-level magic with the attribute of the law of space and time. It is only one level away from the highest level of ninth level magic. The power is so powerful that it explodes, generally speaking. Only strong divine power can master and deduce the eighth level divine art that is in line with the authority of one's own domain. One can imagine how precious it is. Receive award. Suppressing the excitement in his heart, Ren couldn't wait to choose to receive the reward. Swish. Next second. A huge torrent of divine power merged into the divine space with the integration of the 1.12 million drops of divine power. Ren divine power reserve instantly reached more than 16 million drops. If it weren't for Ren having a perfect godhead, the carrying limit would be far beyond ordinary godheads. There is no way to reserve such a huge amount of divine power. It can only consume a lot of divine power and transform it into a crystal of divine power. Divine power integrated union completed. Immediately after that is the comprehension of the law and the understanding of the priesthood. The mysteries of countless storm laws, as well as the understanding of space, life, destruction, and the priesthood of power, constantly emerged in Ren's mind. After absorbing it all, Ren successfully comprehended the law of the storm to the point where he could condense the priesthood. At the same time, he has a deeper understanding of the four priesthoods of space, life, destruction, and power. The priesthood of space and the priesthood of power directly transform into the original level. The life and destruction priesthoods have also made great progress. A breakthrough from the law level to the rule level in one leap. Even the rule perfection has reached more than 50%. Without any exaggeration, this wave of clergy promotion directly increased Ren's strength by at least 10 times. The main priesthood has reached the source level, and the other six priesthoods have at least reached the rule level. Next. I just need to transform the angel priesthood to the regular level, and then I can start to promote the medium divine power. Feeling the vast power surging in his body, Ren was also quite excited. I have worked hard for so long, it's that day. After the end of Integrated Union, the esoteric information about the Eight Ring Divine Art, the end of time and space, was integrated into his mind. After completing Integrated Union, Ren also had a more specific understanding of this Eight Ring magic. This is an extremely powerful divine technique, it can forcibly cause a space time area to completely collapse and end. Let all things return to nothingness, completely erased from the universe. Its lethality is strong. Enough to injure powerful divine power. However, for such a powerful high-level divine spell, the requirements for casting it are naturally very high. Need to master the source level space priesthood. The level of the caster must reach level 41 or above. To activate it once at the same time, at least tens of millions of drops of divine power will be consumed. The price is very high. It seems that this divine technique can only be used as a whole card after being promoted to a medium divine power. 
Ren thought to himself. This high-level divine technique is simply not something he can use at the moment. Skip this eighth-level divine technique. Ren turned his attention to the eight high artifacts. These eight high-level artifacts. Among them, there are four attributes of the law of order, and the other four are attributes of the law of light. Replace these high-level artifacts with the two avatars respectively. The incarnation of order and the incarnation of light are directly armed to the teeth. The combat power soared dozens of times in an instant. After digesting all rewards, with a happy mood, Ren walked towards the room of Queen Isabella and others. This wave of baby boom is really awesome, it has to be rewarded well. A blink of an eye. Another two years passed, this time. Ren has been working on ascension to the angelic rank. Different from normal clergy. As a racial priesthood, the priesthood of angels cannot be promoted to a higher level through comprehension. A racial priesthood can only be raised to a higher level by doing something beneficial to further the development of that race. In this case, the method Ren chooses is to gather the angels who unify the upper interface and establish an angelic civilization. After all, there are many branch races of angels. The lower ones are mastiff-headed angels, flame angels. The higher ones are holy angels, hymn angels. These angels live in units of their own race and tribe, never united as a whole. They even sometimes attack each other hostilely. It's a complete mess. If it is possible to integrate all the angels of these different branch races, an angelic civilization with orderly inheritance and strict order can be formed. It will definitely be able to greatly promote the development and progress of the angel race. At that time, don't say it's raising the angel priesthood to a regular level by 3.6. It is not a problem to upgrade to the original level, or even the root level. Certainly. The task of unifying the angel race is rather trivial and troublesome. It is necessary to find out the angel tribes living in the upper interface one by one and defeat them. And Ren didn't want to waste his time on it, therefore. He directly handed over this matter to the angel legion under his command. I am continuing to look for the goddess I like to carry out the strategy. Thus, improving the priesthood of an angel and marrying a wife can be carried out simultaneously. Two do not delay. Maximize efficiency. That's all. Time passed little by little. This day. Ren receives an invitation to a banquet from Woking, the goddess of wealth. Chapter 352 Special Treatment? Mischievous Goddess of Wealth. Previous chapter Next chapter The Kingdom of Light, the Central Temple. Ren is meeting with the Angel of Tricks, Cyril. As the caster of two fourteen-winged angels, the brain of the Angel of Tricks is obviously better than that of the other Angel of Beasts. Therefore, Ren handed over the task of unifying the angelic race to the Angel of Tricks, Shilor. The adjutant is Ice Archangel Daisy. The two perform their respective duties and coordinate the overall situation. As for the Angel of Beasts, Druger. Due to his impulsive personality, he fights and fights. Ren positions it as a vanguard warrior who charges into battle. My god. At present, the Angel Legion has successfully gathered several large angel tribes, dozens of small and medium tribes. It is estimated that within 10 years, the reorganization and integration of the angel race on the upper plane will be completely completed. The angel of tricks, Silor, knelt down on one knee. Report the progress of the angel legion's mission to Ren with a frenzied face. Very good, heard the words. Ren nodded in satisfaction. Continue at this pace, his angel priesthood will soon be transformed into a rule level. At that time, it was the day when he was promoted to medium divine power. My god. Recently, our aggressive efforts to gather and unify the angelic race have attracted the attention and opposition of many false gods 23. There are also some angels who have stepped into the realm of God and began to jointly resist our incorporation. After reporting the results of the work, Hiller turned to report the problems encountered. The stakes are high for these issues, which could result in a large number of casualties for the angel core. Without Ren authorization, she dared not make her own claims led an army of angels into a head-on conflict with those gods and divine grade angels. The task of unifying the angelic race must be completed. As long as it is someone who hinders the integration of the angelic race, you can lead the angelic army to suppress it. Those who are stubborn, die, heard the words. There was a gleam of coldness in Ren eyes, without hesitation. Directly grant Shilor the war authority to mobilize the angel legion to fight outside. This matter is related to the promotion of his strength. He absolutely does not allow anyone to destroy it. If necessary, he didn't mind taking action himself, to kill chickens and monkeys once. Yes. My god. Heard the words. 
Silor instantly understood Ren's attitude. I also have a bottom line in my heart about what I should do in the future. After reporting everything, Shilor bowed respectfully to Ren and exited the temple. All business done. Ren is getting ready to spend time with his wife. And at this moment, Ice Angel Daisy walked in. My god. Just now, a servant who claimed to be the messenger of the goddess of wealth sent an invitation letter and asked me to pass it on to you. Talking. Daisy took out an envelope and handed it to Ren respectfully. The envelope is gilt gold throughout. The surface is inlaid with several extremely beautiful magic agates. Look. Luxurious yet sophisticated. Ren took the envelope from Daisy. Open it and have a look. This is an invitation to a party. A simple summary is that the goddess of wealth wants to invite him to the kingdom of wealth god to participate in the wealth banquet held once a century. For the fortune banquet hosted by the goddess of fortune. Ren had also heard about it. It is quite well known in the circle of gods on the upper interface. Held every hundred years, the invitees are all gods with above average divine power. Very high end. The last fortune banquet was held. It wasn't long before Ren became a god, not eligible to participate at all. Now, although Ren has not yet been promoted to medium divine power, but the prestige and strength have already far surpassed the middle level gods. Therefore, the goddess of wealth invited him. Ren didn't sense that there was anything wrong. This banquet is worth going to. Looking at the invitation letter in his hand, Ren heart moved. This kind of high-end god banquet will definitely have many goddesses with medium or even powerful divine power levels appearing. Join a wave. Maybe he could meet some powerful goddesses. Besides, Fortune Banquet is also an alternative high-end trade platform. The gods participating in the banquet will take out some fetishes and priesthoods that they don't need to exchange. Ren intends to trade it for some priesthood, after all. Recently, many wives are about to break through the realm of demigod consummation. The priesthood in his hand is not enough, think here. Ren suddenly had a decision in his heart, a month later. The god banquet held by the goddess of wealth is today. It's time to go. Ren manipulated the space avatar to leave the kingdom of god. Travel through the void, in a blink of an eye. Disappeared in Joseph's garden plain. The goddess of wealth's kingdom is located on the plain of Elysium. Tens of light years away from Ren, the distance is very far. But in front of the incomparably powerful space ability of the space incarnation. This distance is nothing at all, in less than 10 minutes, Ren successfully reached the plane of bliss. According to the address coordinates on the invitation letter, Ren easily found the goddess of wealth, then, the invitation sent out a burst of dazzling golden light and projected onto the barrier of the kingdom of God. Then a huge door opened, without hesitation, Ren stepped straight in. At the same time, the goddess of wealth, Vokan, located deep in the kingdom of God, also sensed the arrival of Ren. Your Majesty Ren, you are welcome, in order to be able to get close to Ren and gain Ren favor. The goddess of wealth, Woking, came forward to receive Ren at the first time, expressing his importance to Ren. My lord, you are too kind. Ren smiled back. Passion for Woking, he didn't think much of it either. I just thought it was the goddess of wealth who took a fancy to his strength and potential and wanted to befriend him. After exchanging pleasantries, the goddess of wealth, Woking, personally led Ren towards the banquet venue. At this time, many gods who were invited to the banquet had already arrived at the banquet venue. Who is that? His Majesty Vol'jin came out to entertain him in person. See the goddess of wealth, who is the host of the banquet, walk in with a deity. The eyes of the gods present were all attracted to them. After all, attended so many fortune banquets, they had never seen anyone receive such courtesy from the goddess of wealth. But, after they recognized the god beside the goddess of wealth as Ren, the imbalance in the hearts of these gods disappeared instantly. No way. Ren record and strength are too strong. Not convinced, and look at its rising momentum. Achieving great divine power in the future is a certainty. Able to receive special courtesy from the goddess of wealth. It couldn't be more normal. After recognizing Ren identity, the eyes of some gods who wanted to befriend Ren suddenly lit up. Immediately walked over to Ren, in a short period of time. Ren was surrounded by dozens of gods, just like the stars and the moon. Unknown. I thought Ren was the host of the banquet. For Ren's, overwhelming guest, fortune goddess Vol'jin didn't care. After all, she hosts this wealth banquet today. The biggest purpose is to allow myself to interact with Ren in a logical way, and to get a chance to get close to Ren. In this way, the cooperation with Queen Rose Spider is completed. 
I don't know that the goddess of wealth has something wrong with me. While dealing with the gods who intend to befriend him, Rand is looking for a goddess to make friends with. That's all. Time passed little by little. Five hours later. All the gods who were invited came together. The banquet officially begins. Chapter 353, Take Down, The Goddess of Wealth and Assassinate Ren? Have to say. The appeal of the Goddess of Wealth Vulgen is still very strong. There are a lot of medium gods and gods who come to the banquet. There are nearly 500 people. As for the gods at the level of powerful divine power. Not a single one. But. This is also normal. After all. For gods with powerful divine power. This kind of banquet is meaningless. Naturally, they will not waste their time participating. As all the invited gods arrived at the banquet scene. This fortune banquet begins. As a goddess who holds the priesthood of wealth. The feast of the gods hosted by Woking had a very high standard of hospitality. Alcohol is the most top-level spirit. The main ingredients of the food are taken from mythical animals and carefully cooked by the god of cooking, Jeppero. Even the show was arranged by the drama god Pierce. Without any exaggeration, the divine power spent on this banquet is enough to create a medium artifact set. It can be seen from this, just how strong is the financial power of the goddess of wealth Vulgen. While eating these extremely rare fine wines and delicacies, the gods enjoy the dances and dances carefully choreographed by the god of drama. Just don't enjoy it too much. The atmosphere of the banquet became more and more lively. Slightly drunk. The drunken gods began to have fun. Invite other goddesses to dance. The most popular goddess is undoubtedly the goddess of wealth, Vulgen. After all. Whether it is strength, financial resources, or beauty. The goddess of wealth, Vulgen, completely crushed the other female gods present. However. Facing the warm invitation of many male gods. The goddess of wealth, Wojin, declined all of them with a smile of refusal from thousands of miles away. Under the gaze of many male gods, the goddess of wealth, Woking, walked gracefully up to Ren. Your majesty Ren, will you dance with me? Woking spoke to Ren with a warm smile. No problem at all. For Woking's move, Ren was also a little surprised. Come to yourself. He agreed without hesitation. The beautiful goddess warmly invites you. Naturally, it was impossible for him to brush off the other party's face. Keep Woking from stepping down. Under the envious eyes of other male gods. Ran led Woking's flawless little hand onto the dance floor. During the dance. I don't know whether it was intentional or not, but the bodies of the two are very close. As the time goes, an ambiguous atmosphere grew between the two. Seeing the goddess I adored and pursued smiled sweetly and danced gracefully in the arms of other men. Those male gods were about to grit their teeth with hatred. There is a feeling of being NTR face to face, but. No matter how uncomfortable it is, there is no other way. I can only endure it. Trouble with Ren, they can't even think about it. After all. The consequences of doing so are too serious. The tragic end of the wild god is a lesson from the past. Think here. The male gods immediately gave up the idea of courting Vulgen, the goddess of wealth. In turn invite other goddesses to dance. The banquet lasted for a full month. Halfway. The goddess of wealth, Woking, held a trade fair as usual. The gods each took out the wonders, artifacts, and priesthoods they didn't need, and traded them with other gods. There are some goodies in it. But. Ren has almost everything. Just lack of priesthood. Therefore. Almost all the priesthoods that appeared at the fair were covered by Ren. Knowledge, hunting, exploration. A deal will come down. Ren exchanged to more than a dozen priesthoods. Short term. Sure enough for the wives. Besides. There is one more thing worth mentioning. Ren successfully took down the goddess of wealth, Woking. During the banquet. The relationship between the two developed extremely rapidly. A dance is over. The two who were originally lovers and wives had sex together as a matter of course. After the banquet, Ren formally proposed to the goddess of wealth, Woking. After pretending to be reserved, Wojin also agreed. The two quickly held a divine marriage, since then. The goddess of wealth officially became Ren woman. Stationed in the kingdom of light, became a real pillow for Ren. After approaching the body of Ren, Vol'jin was in no hurry to strike. Instead, she has been keeping herself safe and doing her part as Ren wife. Waiting quietly for a better time. A blink of an eye. Five years have passed. After this period of hard work. The Angel Legion under Ren has subdued and unified the Angel tribes in the three plains of Joseph's Garden, Natural Wilderness, and Savage Wilderness. In this case, 
The perfection of the angel priesthood has reached 77%. It is estimated that the angelic tribes of the two planes can be integrated to transform into a regular level. The day when Ren is promoted to a medium power is not far away. Besides, there is also good news, under his unremitting efforts. Goddess of Wealth Vol'jin has successfully conceived. Pregnant with it. There are also 19 wives including Princess Aisha, Nomia, and Melita. For myself to conceive a child so soon. Woking is also very messy. To know. For the gods. Conceiving a child is extremely difficult. If it continues for hundreds of years, or even thousands of years, it may not be possible to conceive. However. Under the sowing of Ren, she was fattened in less than five years. This stunned Woking for a moment. Come to yourself. Wo Jin's mentality suddenly became tangled. After getting along with each other for several years, she gradually developed true feelings for Ren. After all, Ren was too good for her. Whether it is divine power, artifact, priesthood, or anything else. As long as she speaks, Ren will satisfy her. During the time spent with Ren, she felt unprecedented happiness. Mono Zhao, plus the appearance of this child. The idea of assassinating Ren faltered in her mind. However, there is no turning back when you open the bow. In order to be greedy for the priesthood, she signed the sticks contract with Queen Rose Spider. If not assassinate Ren, she will be judged by the high sticks. Completely lost, there is no chance of resurrection. I'm sorry, Ren, after a very intense thought struggle. With extremely complicated emotions, Woking re-established his idea of assassinating Ren. Afraid that his will will be shaken again, she decided to find a chance to do it during this time. P.S. I'm not in good shape today, too, sitting in front of the computer. It took 10 hours to write two chapters, I'm really sorry, fellow readers. But. Don't worry. The update that is missing today, the author will definitely make it up tomorrow. Chapter 354 The Test of Ren, The Return of the Goddess of Wealth Just when the Goddess of Wealth, Vokan, decided to do it in the near future. Mythical talent Destiny Weaver is triggered automatically. Ren, who was instructing his children to practice in Dragon Rest, suddenly received a series of future pictures. On screen, Ren and Woking are playing poker. After both reach the peak, a flushed Vol'jin struck Ren suddenly. Pierce Ren heart with a black dagger that swells with an ominous, corrupt aura. The dagger's own dreadful toxin was instantly injected into the body. Ren life was over. The screen ends here. Why did Vol'jin kill me? Consciousness returned to reality, Ren frowned. Puzzled. To know. Ever since Vol'jin became his wife. He loves it very much. Pretty much anything you ask for. He thought he had nothing to do to Woking. Vol'jin strikes him suddenly. Obviously something else is hidden. Maybe Vol'jin married me for an impure purpose. Recalling the process of marrying the goddess of wealth. Ren also sensed something was wrong in his heart. The speed is too fast. Everything is so logical. I thought Vol'jin fell in love with him at first sight. Now it seems. Think here. Ren mood suddenly became very complicated. I don't know what to do with this goddess of wealth who wants his life. Although he has 12 trials and 12 lives, but Vol'jin didn't know this. Choose to do it to him. 960 this is obviously really trying to kill him. For those who want to kill themselves, generally speaking. Ren certainly wouldn't let it live to see the sun the next day. However. Vol'jin is different from normal enemies. Is his wife. And conceived his child. Let him do it and kill it directly. Ren is also a little bit hesitant. Thinking about it. Ren finally decided to give Woking a chance. Let it make another selection. Vol'jin. I hope you don't disappoint me. There was a hint of depth and complexity in Ren's eyes. If the opponent still chooses to continue to assassinate him. Then don't blame him for being cruel. In the next period of time. Ren treated Volking as usual. And from time to time, he will, inadvertently, remind Woking. The two are now a family, she is her most solid backing. Any difficulties or worries, although it can be brought up, he will definitely help solve it. Feel the care and love that Ren has for her. Wojin's originally ruthless heart was shaken again. It was originally planned to assassinate Ren at this time. Result. It has been dragging for half a year without being able to do it. In such entanglement and struggle, Woking's heart is incomparably tormented. Another half year passed. With the belly getting bigger day by day. The balance in Woking's heart began to gradually tilt in favor of Ren. On a certain night. Woking finally decides to open up and confess to Ren. Go to her husband Ren room. Vol'jin opened the door and walked in. Baby. 
You came to see me so late, what's the matter? Ren was a little surprised to see Woking come so suddenly. Honey. If, I mean, if, I did something that I'm very sorry for you, would you forgive me? There was no answer to Ren doubts, Vol'jin asked nervously. Now she is deeply in love with Ren. She didn't want the wrong things she did before to create an irreparable rift between herself and Ren. Hear Vol'jin's words. There was a gleam in Ren's eye. I am very happy. He knew that his efforts were not in vain. Obviously. Vol'jin had already given up the idea of assassinating him. Be ready to confess to him. Certainly. No matter how happy he was, Ren didn't show it. What's wrong with me? Did you cuckold me? Pulling Woking into his arms, Ren asked pretending to be angry. Both hands began to extort a confession by torture. No. Feeling her husband's claws pressing on her huge body. Wo Jin's pretty face instantly flushed, and he quickly denied it. That's all right. I can forgive you for everything else except this one. You were my wife. If you have anything to say, just say it, and we can solve it together. Ren shrugged and smiled. Hearing her husband be so tolerant of himself. Woking was very moved. Then I said it. This incident may make you very angry. Wojin talked about his transaction cooperation with Rose Queen. Queen Rose? Hearing the name of Queen Rose Spider, Ren's eyes instantly flashed a cold color. He didn't expect that. This crazy woman is so sinister and vicious. A beauty trap was specially designed for him. If he hadn't had the Weaver of Destiny foresee the danger in advance, he would have been escorted by the Twelve Trials. Maybe. Really want to fall under the conspiracy of Queen Rose Spider. Think here. In Ren Hart, the killing intent towards the Rose Spider Queen became more and more determined. This femme fatale. Finding trouble again and again, what a disgusting brown candy. With enough strength, we must kill it completely as soon as possible. Feel the anger and killing intent emanating from Ren. Vol'jin was not frightened, because she could feel that these anger and killing intent were not aimed at herself. Listen to Vol'jin's confession. Ren, who was already prepared, was very satisfied with Woking's choice. Not only did he not mean to blame Woking, instead, he cared about comforting Vol'jin. Feel the attitude of your husband. Wojin's hanging heart was completely let go. At the same time, the love for Ren grew stronger. Hold on for a moment. The two began to discuss how to resolve the matter. Now. Vol'jin already planned to give up the deal with Queen Rose Spider. The Styx contract that has already been signed is a ticking time bomb. If not resolved, this ticking time bomb is bound to go off sooner or later. At that time, Vol'jin must die. But, fortunately, the Styx contract is not unsolvable or, there is nothing unsolvable in this world. Anything unsolvable is due to lack of strength or failure to find the right method. The same is true of the Styx contract. The most simple and direct way is to let the powerful gods take action. As long as the powerful gods are willing to pay a huge price, it is not a problem to forcibly cancel the Styx contract. But, this is obviously not feasible for Ren and Woking. After all, they are not powerful, and if you find other powerful divine powers to make a move, that is tantamount to a fool's dream. The price of forcibly rescinding the Styx contract is too great. At least one to three godhead levels must be dropped to succeed. Not as a last resort. It is absolutely impossible for a powerful divine power to do this. Another spirit was lifted. In this case, the two of them can only find a way to get stuck in the BUG. For example, use the top-level time hibernation capsule in the floating city to put Vol'jin into a deep sleep where time stagnates. In this way, you can temporarily bypass the sanctions of the Styx contract. Wait until Ren is promoted to a powerful god. And then help Wojin break the Styx contract, but. Unless it was a last resort, the two of them didn't want to use this kind of non-solution method. After all. In the state of time stop, Vol'jin is equivalent to the living dead. Unable to practice, it is even less likely to bear children for Ren. After some hard thinking. Ren seemed to think of something, suddenly his eyes lit up, and he said to Woking. Baby, you can continue to assassinate me. Chapter 355 Ren died? Rose Queen conspires to go bankrupt. As long as you kill me once, the Styx contract should be lifted. Ren said with a smile, according to Woking. The Styx contract signed with Rose Spider Empress requires that he be killed. And he has 12 lives. If the judgment condition of the Styx contract is to end with his death. Then he only needs to consume one life, and the Styx contract bound to Vol'jin should disappear. Although I haven't tried it, I don't know if it will work. But Ren feels the odds are pretty high that it will work. Moreover, 
It doesn't matter if you fail, the big deal is not to lose a life. He has 11 more, and losing this life will also recover over time. Rounding. There is absolutely nothing to lose. Didn't know about Ren having 12 lives. Hearing that her husband asked him to kill him, Wojin was instantly stunned. No. I'm not going to do that. If you want to cancel the Styx contract at the cost of your life, I would rather enter the time hibernation capsule and seal myself. Come to yourself. Vol'jin chose to refuse without hesitation. Although it is very touching that Ren is willing to give his life for her. But she will never accept this result. Otherwise. Nor will she come clean with Ren. Hear Vol'jin's answer. Ren was also very pleased. In the future scene, Wojin stabs his heart with a dagger and doesn't mind at all. Then he explained to Vol'jin that he has unlimited resurrection ability. At the same time, he explained his idea of exploiting the loopholes in the Styx contract. After knowing that Ren has such a powerful ability, Woking was shocked immediately, she never thought of it. Ren unexpectedly has such a heaven-defying ability. After confirming that Ren was not joking, Woking also agreed with Ren's idea. Anyway, no loss, it doesn't hurt to give it a try. It doesn't matter if you don't succeed, it worked. That is blood earning, after reaching a consensus. The two immediately started to act. Honey, why don't you forget it? Taking out the meteor god dagger, Vol'jin hesitated again. After all, this high-level artifact given by Queen Rose Spider contains the poison of fallen angels. According to the description of Rose Queen, the power of this toxin is so strong that even powerful gods and gods cannot be exempted from it. In case Ren is poisoned by this terrible toxin, the resurrection ability will be inhibited and cannot take effect. BB. Don't worry. Go ahead. Ren reassured. As for his protection in the world of twelve trials, whether he can resurrect his body that was poisoned by the poison of the fallen angel. Ren wasn't worried at all. Because the strange intuition that comes with the supreme talent, son of destiny has not been activated, which made him alert. This means. The so-called fallen god's poison wasn't strong enough to suppress the protective effect of the twelve trials world. However, Woking didn't know Ren confidence. I have been hesitating all the time, and have not made a move for a long time. See here. Ren chose to do it himself. Ah. In Vol'jin's horrified eyes, Ren grabbed Woking's little hand holding the dagger and thrust it hard into his heart. The extremely sharp meteor god dagger inserted into his body without hindrance. Ohm. 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 Next second. A strange and evil aura rose instantly. Countless fallen angel poisons were released from the dagger. Like a poisonous spider biting its prey, it ruthlessly pours its venom into the prey. Less than a thousandth of a second. These fierce and strange toxins spread throughout Ren's body. Although it is possible to use divine power to resist. But Ren, who had already taken the initiative to seek death, naturally couldn't do so. Instead, he actively suppressed his body's resistance. In this case, in just one minute, Ren's body completely lost its vitality completely lost. At the same time, it was detected that the contract conditions were fulfilled, and the Styx contract in Wojin's soul automatically dissipated. But. Wojin did not pay attention to this. A pair of beautiful eyes fixed on Ren who had lost his life. Full of tension and worry, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, time passed little by little. Seeing that Ren, who was supposed to be resurrected, still didn't move at all, Woking was about to cry. Just when Vol'jin thought Ren had really fallen, Ren corpse, which had completely lost all signs of life, erupted in a strange wave. Ask for flowers, a great force from the root of the world descends. It's like turning back time. Ren body quickly returned to its pre-death state. Wrong. To be precise, Ren aura is stronger than before his fall. Seeing this miraculous picture beyond common sense, Woking, who was still grieving for Ren, couldn't help opening his mouth, and was stunned. To be honest, it's not like she hasn't seen such things as gods falling and being resurrected from the long river of history. But that can only be done by the long-term faith of faithful believers. And it will take at least hundreds of years to succeed. And it was the first time she had seen such a situation of dying on the spot and then being resurrected directly on the spot. Although Ren had told her before, but the moment she saw it with her own eyes, she still couldn't help being shocked. Wait until all visions cease. Ren was successfully revived and opened his eyes again. Baby. What? Don't you know me? Seeing Woking's stunned look, Ren joked with a smile. The reason why there was no immediate resurrection just now. That was his intention. It is to prevent the judgment of the Styx contract from being delayed. You're fine. 
It just scared me to death. Come to yourself. Woking threw himself into Ren arms and said worriedly. Honestly, she really thought she had killed Ren just now. Softly comforted. Ren began to ask Vol'jin if the stick's contract was successfully broken. The stick's contract has been terminated. Feel it carefully. Vol'jin replied with joy and excitement. There is a sense of relief. The sword of Damocles hanging above her head is finally gone. To repay her husband's sacrifice, also to express the joy and excitement in my heart. Woking's alluring red lips were instantly on Ren's. The two hugged and kissed together, during this process. The anger in Ren's heart was also stirred up. After more than ten minutes of kissing, Ren put the incomparably delicious goddess directly under his body. Start to taste it. Shortly after, the passionate and passionate symphony sounded in the temple. Chapter 356 Origin Level Light Priesthood, Forge Dozens of Medium Artifacts. At the same time, lower interface, the 66th floor of the Endless Abyss is the plane of the pit magic net. Vol'jin, goddess of wealth, has succeeded, the damn guy is finally dead. Sensing the dissipation of the stick's contract, a happy expression appeared on the evil face of the Rose Spider Queen. The mood is simply not too happy. The guy who caused her heavy losses and lost face several times finally died under her carefully woven conspiracy. Think here. The wicked and piercing laughter of Rose Spider could not help but rang out. It keeps echoing in the pit magic net plane, however. Little does she know that Vol'jin, the goddess of wealth whom she has bought, has completely turned against Ren. He paid a huge price to sign the Styx contract with the goddess of wealth. It was even solved by Ren using his own ability to exploit loopholes. Not only did he fail to achieve his goal, he even lost an original greedy priesthood in vain. If you know it, after the narrow-minded Rose Spider, 490, she was so angry that she died. Pity. She doesn't know. After confirming the death of Ren, the mortal enemy, through the Styx contract. With a happy mood, Rose Spider devoted herself wholeheartedly to the casting of her exclusive super artifact. A blink of an eye. It has been three years since the goddess of fortune, Woking, turned his back. This time. The operation to unify the angelic races of the upper interface is in full swing. Although there were many obstacles in the middle, and even many gods objected. But under the suppression of the angel legion. Except for the heaven mountain plane with the largest number of angels and the most powerful. The angels of the other six planes have already completed the initial unification. Submitted to Ren command. In this case, the perfection of Ren angelic priesthood has reached 90%. Next. Just conquer the angel tribe on the paradise mountain plane. The angel priesthood can be transformed into a rule level. If nothing else, in a few more years, Ren will be able to start waiting for divine power. Except for this good news, there is another great event. Pregnant for more than 20 years, the bellies of the thirteen wives including Wen Lena and Cecilia are already very big. And there were some signs of fetal movement. Expected to give birth around this time. Among them, the child in Wen Lena's womb. Experienced the baptism of the world's great source brought by Wen Lena's conferred god. It might be a surprise for him, in Ren anticipation. Time passed little by little. Three months later. Except Wen Lena. Cecilia and other twelve wives all completed the production. A son of Ren was born. The 493rd child of the host is detected to be born, the descendant's magic aptitude is a low-level god, the fighting spirit aptitude is a low-level god, hidden bloodline, void dragon, awakened, bloodline purity 54%, born to control the authority of space law, born with powerful talents such as void dragon body, void manipulation, etc. Evaluation is star level, reward, 20,000 drops of divine power, world wonder hedroman metal asterisk 10 kilogram close black lens bracket. The birth of the 494th child of the host has been detected. The offspring's magic aptitude is a medium god, and the fighting spirit aptitude is a medium god. Hidden bloodline, void dragon, awakened, bloodline purity 100%, born to control the authority of space law, born with powerful talents such as void dragon body, void control, void shuttle, etc. Evaluated as Huawei level, reward, 100,000 drops of divine power, 2,000 years of light priesthood comprehension experience. Power of Ascension to God. Close black lens bracket. The 494th child of the host was detected to be born. The offspring's magical aptitude is a medium god, and his fighting spirit aptitude is a low level god. His hidden bloodline. Void dragon. Awakened. Bloodline purity 90%. Born to control the authority of space law. Born with powerful talents such as void dragon body. Void control. Void shuttle. Etc. 
evaluated as Huawei level, reward, 100,000 drops of divine power, 2,000 years of order priesthood comprehension experience, priesthood stars. Close black lens bracket. 15 children were born in this wave, there are three pairs of twins. Eight boys, seven girls, but, although the number is relatively large, but the quality has dropped a lot compared to the previous wave of baby boomers. Only nine have reached the Huawei level evaluation. The remaining six are all star level. Fifteen children gave Ren a total of 1.02 million drops of divine power. Besides, he also gave the 13,000 year experience of the priesthood of light and the experience of the body language of the 6,000 year old priesthood of order. As well as 10 kilograms of Hedraman metal, a power of ascension to the gods, priesthood and stars. There is no need to say much about the previous rewards. The focus is on the latter three rewards, it is displayed according to the information given by the system. The World Wonder Hedraman Medal is an extremely precious law medal. Only in the place where the law manifests, the regiment will be born by chance and coincidence. Possesses extremely powerful energy boosting properties. The bearing capacity for the law of the gods is also quite high. It is an excellent material whether it is used to cast artifacts or to create divine grade magic circles. In the circle of gods, one kilogram of hedraman metal can be exchanged for at least 1.5 million drops of divine power. These 10 kilograms of hedraman metal, one can imagine. How high is its value? As for the power of ascension to the gods, there is no need to say much. It just so happens that the one I got before is about to be consumed. This power of ascending to the gods came just in time. As for the stellar priesthood that's not to mention. Among the many priesthoods, the priesthood of the stars is definitely a high-level priesthood. Although it is not comparable to the supreme priesthood of space, time, and order. But it can definitely be in the same sequence as the first-class priests such as the sun and light. The most rare thing is, the root of this priesthood has not yet been occupied by powerful divine power. The potential is huge. Have to say, the rewards for this baby boom are still pretty good. Without hesitation, Ren directly chooses to receive the reward. After all integrated union, his divine power reserve has exceeded 20 million drops. The priesthood of light has been directly promoted from the regular level to the original level. As for the priesthood of order, since it is the highest level of priesthood, it is relatively difficult to promote. 6,000 years of priesthood comprehension experience is only enough to push its perfection to 30%. After the integrated union is completed, Ren began to deal with the three rewards of Hedraman Metal, Power of Ascension, and Priesthood Stars. The power of ascending to the gods is directly put away. Wait for his wife to become a god, and then use it to escort her. That 10 kilograms of Hedraman Metal. Ren intends to use it as a raw material, because the wives personally create a batch of jewelry artifacts. As for skills, don't worry. A long time ago, he has thoroughly comprehended the scrolls of Nesser and artifact manufacturing. This time, I can practice my craft. The words of the priesthood of the stars. Ren is ready to use it himself. After all, after he is promoted to medium divine power, the number of priesthoods he can carry will reach 12. At that time, there are four more priestly vacancies to be filled. After finalizing the treatment plan, Ren immediately went to work. 2.8. Become a blacksmith and create artifacts and jewelry for your wives. To be the best. Ren also bought a lot of divine grade treasures from the family mall as auxiliary materials. Possesses extraordinary skills obtained from nether scrolls and artifact crafting scrolls. Coupled with the investment of no expense and no expense. One year later, dozens of exquisite and unique ornaments are completed. The quality of each of these accessories has reached the middle artifact level. Compared to ordinary medium artifact ornaments, the attributes are even more top-notch. Received artifact jewelry that Ren painstakingly crafted. Sensing her husband's intentions, Janice and the others were quite pleasantly surprised. Send kisses to Ren one after another, and it is rare to agree to Ren unreasonable request. Let Ren realize the dream of being slept with. Have to say, this taste is wonderful to the extreme. Chapter 357 Half Step Sun Level Air, Supreme Talent Master of Destiny. Another two years passed. Three years have passed since Celestia and the others gave birth. When Lena finally completed the labor and gave birth to the son of Ren. The 505th child of the host was detected to be born. The offspring's magic aptitude is a medium god, the fighting spirit aptitude is a half-step high-level god. Hidden Bloodline. Super Void Dragon, during the gestation process, the offspring experienced the baptism of the world's great source, 
Under the protection of the father's powerful luck, the bloodline has mutated and strengthened, some talent attributes have broken through the medium divine grade bloodline limit, mastered part of the power of life, born with powerful talents such as life recovery, void control, void shuttle, etc. Evaluated as half-step son, rewards, 500,000 drops of divine power, 20,000 years of experience in priesthood of order, the highest talent integrated union card 1, the original strange object, the ancient god stone, close black lens bracket. Half-step Sunday class. Hearing the system prompt sounding in his ears, Ren was also a little dazed. To be honest, it was the first time he encountered such a situation. The child's qualification level given by the system before has always been that level. Now there is a prefix like half-step, literally. Obviously, the qualification has already touched the 25th threshold of the sun level. But not really stepping into that level. It seems that the evaluation span from the Huayui class to the sun class is very large. Otherwise, there won't be such an evaluation of the half-step sun level. Come to yourself. Ren thought to himself. Although she was a little disappointed that Wen Lena could not really give birth to a sun level heir. But the system rewards for half-step sun level heirs are quite good. It is several times higher than ordinary Huayui level heirs. The guaranteed divine power reward alone is as high as 500,000 drops. Besides, he also gave him 20,000 year order priesthood comprehension experience, the highest talent integrated union card 1, and an original strange object called the ancient god stone. There is nothing to say about divine power and priesthood comprehension. Ren turned his attention to the next two rewards. Supreme talent integrated union card. From the name, it is known that this is an upgraded version of the mythical talent integrated union card. Its role is to sublimate the two mythical talents integrated union to high quality. Needless to say, the power of the supreme talent. According to Ren, this integrated union card is worth nothing less than a super artifact. And the original strange thing, the ancient god stone. Ren is unheard of. But. Displayed according to the item information given by the system. This original wonder is a treasure born from the root of the world. Extremely rare and precious. Use divine power to incorporate it into a high artifact. Its own root power can sublimate the quality of the artifact to the extreme. Transformed into a super artifact. FK. Recalling the information in his mind, Ren suddenly felt the same. He didn't expect that. The effect of this original strange thing can be so perverted. Just use it on a high artifact, his first super artifact has arrived. Receive award. Come to yourself. Ren suppressed the excitement in his heart and chose to receive these rewards without hesitation. Swish. Next second. A majestic divine power merged into Ren divine space. With the integration of these 500,000 drops of divine power. Ren power reserves reached 15 million. Why so few that's because he spent a lot of energy creating artifact jewelry for his wives before. Powerfully complete the integrated union. Immediately afterwards is the understanding of the priesthood of order. Numerous realizations about world order came to Ren mind. Driven by 20,000 years of priestly experience and understanding. His mastery and understanding of the priesthood of order has successfully broken through from the rule level to the original level. Clergy realization experience integrated union completed. A ray of light from nowhere was condensed out of thin air. It formed a faint blue card with a supreme aura and a black translucent stone with root power. Obviously. This is the supreme talent integrated union card in the source of wonders, the ancient stone. Be the first to pick up the supreme talent integrated union card. Ren fell into deep thought. He doesn't have many mythical talents. I can count on two hands. Each one is quite useful. In the end choose those two mythological talents for integrated union. Ren was also torn, after careful consideration. Ren finally chose Destiny Weaver and Speech, the two mythical talents. These two talents have given him considerable help. Use its integrated union supreme talent. It must be able to provide him with even greater assistance. Think here. Ren didn't hesitate any longer. Tear open this supreme talent integrated union card immediately. Next second. An incomparably vast power of the world came to Ren's soul C. Driven by Ren ideas. Wrap the rule runes representing the weaver of destiny and the law of words respectively. Under the action of this great force. Two regular runes are integrated union together. Some kind of fantastic chemistry begins to develop. It became more and more mysterious and complicated. Three days later. All changes are over. A rune of supreme law exuding the aura of destiny, shaped like a river, appeared in front of Ren. Next second. 
Ren automatically obtained the specific information of this Supreme Law rune. Fate Controller. Supreme Talent. Effect 1. You are the master of the River of Fate, beyond the River of Fate. You can visit the River of Fate at will, and gain insight into the future fate of other creatures. Note. The stronger and more special a creature is, the more divine power it needs to peep into its fate. Effect 2. You have mastered the supreme divine words that connect to the root of fate, and you can use words to determine the fate of all lives. As long as you have enough divine power, even a god with a powerful divine power level cannot escape the death fate you have set for him. Awesome. Ren face was full of surprise and excitement. Fate weaver and words follow the power of the supreme talent after integrated union. It was beyond his expectation. It not only allows him to travel the long river of fate, but also has a powerful ability to gain insight into the past and future of other creatures. It can also determine the fate of all people with one word. Even the mighty divine power can't fight against his destiny god. Compared with the two mythical talents before, the strength of this supreme talent has undoubtedly undergone a huge qualitative change. Chapter 358 Destroyed at the level of fate, the angel elders who have changed their minds. Come to yourself. Ren couldn't wait to try out the effects of this supreme talent. Activate the fate controller ability. Ren consciousness rose infinitely. In the end, he entered a strange space without the concept of time and space. In this strange space, there is an incomparably huge, long river. Its vastness is far beyond anyone's imagination, boundless and boundless. The water flowing in the long river is even more strange. Colorful. Contains the worldly myriad manifestations. From time to time, the life trajectory of some life will appear in the river water. Obviously. Every drop of these rivers represents the fate of a living being. The destiny of trillions of beings in the universe together constitutes this magnificent river of destiny. It was the first time to witness such a cosmic spectacle. Ren was also shocked to the extreme. Come to yourself. Ren happily sailed over the long river of fate. After some exploration, Ren discovers beings connected to his destiny. He could easily follow his own fate line and find it out of the river of fate. The first one to find is the fate line of the ice archangel Daisy. Through the ability of the master of fate, Ren soon succeeded in gaining insight into Daisy's future destiny. Half a year later, during the crusade against the last large angel tribe on the heavenly mountain plain, she was attacked by a weak divine angel named Gregus. Daisy resisted desperately, and finally lost to fall. Looking at the picture of Daisy's future fate, Ren frowned slightly. Daisy is one of the three twelve-winged angels that she originally created. Served him many times, it never occurred to him. Daisy died in half a year. Did not say, this fate must be amended. In order to modify Daisy's fate, also to try the effect of the divine words of fate. Standing on the river of fate, Ren said, I say, the holy angel Gregus will die with a curse on his body today. For a moment, the divine power reserve in Ren divine space instantly decreased by more than one million drops. This huge divine power has been turned into an unstoppable mighty power of destiny. Completely wipe out the holy angel Gregus from the level of destiny. At the same time, Paradise Mountain Plain, the largest angel tribe, Daegu, Holy Angel Gregus is the leader of the tribe. He is discussing with the tribal elders how to resist the attack of the Angel Legion under the command of the God of Light. Save the Daegu Angel tribe, and at this moment, a strange green skull suddenly drilled out of the void and fell into the body of the Holy Angel Gregus. Before Gregus could react, an extremely powerful curse force drilled into Gregus' body from the skull. The nature of this curse is extremely strange and powerful, and it seems to specifically restrain the sacred calendar. In a blink of an eye, the holy angel Gregus, who possessed a weak level of divine power, was melted and decayed by the power of the curse and turned into a dry bone. Completely lost vitality, fell on the spot, and the power of the curse happened to be exhausted and dissipated completely. See this scene. The elder angels around were instantly dumbfounded. Gregus, who was the strongest in the tribe, died like this. Died so hastily and suddenly. This. This is too weird. Could it be that God of Light made the move? An elder angel swallowed his saliva and said in fear. If true, the strength of that light god is too terrifying. To know. The leader is the incarnation of a god who once defeated a middle-level divine power. Result. It fell without any resistance. Heard the words. The other angel elders were also silent. In the case of excluding extremely small probability accidents. The person who has the motivation and strength to kill his own leader is most likely to be the god of light. Obviously. 
Their actions against the Angel Legion angered the God of Light. The fall of their own leader. It is very likely that the Light God gave them a warning. If you resist again, this is likely to be their end. Be aware of this. These Angel Elders are also afraid. Let's surrender. The Elder Angel said bitterly. The leader died. Their Daegu Angel tribe has no capital to resist. Going on. Only invites destruction. Understand this. Several other Angel Elders also agreed to the proposal of the Angel Elder. After all the senior management reached a consensus. After a few days, the Daegu tribe officially surrendered to the Angel Legion. Don't know about the self-diversion of those Angel Elders. Kill the Holy Angel Gregus. After confirming that the future fate of Ice Angel Daisy has been completely changed, and there is no danger of falling. Ren turned to check the fate of the others. Whether it's an angel, or a wife and child, he never let go. After several hours, after confirming that there was nothing wrong with the fate of other people, he wandered in the river of fate for a while. After enough addiction, Ren activates the ability to control fate, and escapes from the strange space where the river of fate is located. After returning to reality, Ren turned his attention to the primordial wonder, the ancient stone. How to use this sacred stone? Don't think too much about it. It must be used to sublimate the balance of order. After all, the balance of order is the most powerful high-level artifact in his hands. After the ultimate sublimation into a super artifact, it must be much stronger than other high-level gods. Think here. Ren sprang into action. Displayed according to the information given by the system. The method of using this original strange object, the ancient god stone, is very simple. It only needs to inject enough divine power to melt it into a liquid substance with root power. Then. Just integrate these liquid substances into the high-level artifact to be sublimated. Just do it. Ren held the ancient stone in his hand. Mobilize the massive divine power stored in the divine space and inject it into it. Have to say. The capacity of this ancient stone is somewhat beyond Ren imagination. Divine power is poured into it continuously. This ancient sacred stone has not changed at all. After injecting five million drops of divine power, it began to show some signs of melting. It wasn't until ten million drops of divine power were injected, Nuo Qianhao, that it completely melted. It turned into a pool of silver water surging with the aura of the roots. This group of silver water is like a mirror, reflecting the phantom of billions of laws. Look. Very miraculous. Give me integrated union. After successfully melting the ancient god stone, Ren directly took out the high-level artifact, the scale of order. The two touched together, like water touching a sponge. Those miraculous silver water-like objects automatically merged into the balance of order. As more and more silvery liquids are incorporated, the balance of order erupted with endless lights of order in an instant. And getting stronger and stronger, the origin of order contained in the artifact began to sublimate to the extreme. At breakneck speed, transformed to a higher level. F. Two days, three days Fox, in Ren extremely expectant eyes. A month later, the balance of order has successfully completed its transformation. Promoted to Super Artifact. Chapter 359 A Super Artifact That Counters Powerful Divine Power, Promoted to Medium Divine Power? Ohm. 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 The moment when the balance of order was promoted to a super artifact. A breath of strict and supreme order rose up, instantly enveloped the entire upper interface and then spread to the universe, wherever you go. The rules of order began to resonate in response. A net of order covering the universe appeared out of thin air. Such a vast vision, instantly attracted the attention of all the gods. The root of order resonates on such a large scale. Could it be that someone has achieved powerful divine power with the priesthood of order and is in charge of the root of order? Probably not. The source of this vision is the divine kingdom of the god of light. Although that god of light is powerful in combat, his level of strength is far from that of a powerful divine power. It is absolutely impossible to achieve a powerful divine power so quickly. And its main priesthood is not the priesthood of order. What the hell is going on? Behold such an astonishing vision. The gods immediately exploded. People have speculated about what happened in Ren Kingdom of God, which can resonate with the root of the world order. I don't know the huge commotion caused by my sublimation of the balance of order. Inside the central temple. Ren is closely monitoring the balance of order. 350. After more than an hour, the vision subsides, the substantive world root breath dissipated. A balance of dark gold all over the body, with a divine pattern of order all over the body, was revealed from it. 
exudes the breath of eternity and eternal order all the time. There is also a circle of golden god wheel light crown between virtual and real around it. Look. Incomparable sacred majesty. It's just a little bit of power that is naturally emitted. Just let the surrounding time and space become a god's domain of order independent of the kingdom of light. With anticipation. Ren couldn't wait to hold the scales of order in his hands. After refining it. Ren obtained the attribute information after the balance of order transformed into a super artifact. Eternal balance of order. Super artifact. Open black lens bracket basic attributes close black lens bracket. Toughness. Unlimited. Durability. Never wear out. Open black lens bracket passive effect close black lens bracket. Eternal God's domain of order. Holding this artifact. Wherever you are is your kingdom of God. All order in God's domain is under your control. Eternal guardian of order. Holding this artifact. You can obtain the protection from the root of world order. 80% damage reduction for root level attacks. 30% damage reduction for root level attacks. Judgment of absolute order. Holding this artifact, when you launch an attack, you can get the blessing of world order, and the attack power is greatly improved. Absolutely balanced order. Holding this artifact, if the enemy's strength is far superior to yours, you can get the blessing of the root of order. The level of strength and physical attributes will be temporarily raised to the same level as the opponent. The limit is 50 levels. The peak of powerful divine power is perfect. Duration, 3 hours. Reverse order balance. Holding this artifact, when facing a strong enemy, you can suppress the enemy's strength level to the same level as your own, duration. 30 minutes, note. This ability cannot be activated at the same time as the absolute balance order. Open black lens bracket can trigger magic close black lens bracket. Eternal order god wheel, 8th level divine art, summon the order god wheel condensed from the power of the root of order to strangle everything. Eternal divine chain of order, 8th level divine art, summons the divine chain of order from the great source of the world, restricts and seals the opponent's actions. Once hit, the gods below the powerful divine power will never be able to break free. Powerful gods and spirits will also be affected. Eternal hyphenation point order judgment, ninth level divine art, connects to the root of order, condenses the supreme light of order to destroy the enemy, and hits it head on. Its power is enough to easily injure powerful gods and gods. Note, the divine power consumption of this divine art is extremely large. At the same time, the load on the artifact is extremely high, and it needs to be cooled for 30 years once it is used. FK. Awesome. Flipping through the artifact information in his mind, Ren face was full of surprise. Have to say. The balance of order after the ultimate sublimation is too strong. All, CFBD, ability attributes have been enhanced at an unprecedented epic level. Each of the five passive effects is extremely powerful. Not to mention. It also comes with two 8th level magic spells and a top level 9th level magic spell that can severely damage powerful gods. Without any exaggeration. Hold this super artifact. Even an ordinary mortal can overcome two moves with powerful divine power. It's outrageous. Take off. Think here. The smile on Ren face was wide open. Possesses a whole card that can directly counteract the powerful divine power. This is an incomparably huge qualitative change. To know. Even with all the money. The number of powerful existences in the entire universe that can reach the level of powerful divine power will never exceed a hundred. That is. With the power of this super artifact, his strength directly stepped into the top ranks of the universe. I couldn't put it down and played with the super artifact of eternal order balance for a while. After enough addiction. Ren handed it back to the avatar of order. M. He walked towards Wen Lena's room by himself. Wen Lena's birth brought him too much improvement in strength. Wen Lena must be rewarded well. A blink of an eye. Another five years have passed. During this time. Eight wives, including Alfia, Valchetti, Tina, Angelina, Janice, Lifa, Frenna, and Princess Aisha, broke through to demigod consummation successively. Then complete the function with the help of Ren. Achieve immortal god. The number of gods in the Habs family increased by seven again. Along with Ren. Today, the number of gods in the Habs family has reached 26. And there are several goddesses with medium divine power among them. If you are weak, you will have more divine power. This power is enough to compare with a small god system. Therefore, Ren intends to start to establish his own Habsian pantheon after he is promoted to the middle level of divine power. Except for this one, there is also great news. With the efforts of the Angel Legion, the angel tribe on the heavenly mountain plain was finally conquered. Since then, the angelic race on the upper interface has formally unified. 
Thanks to this, Ren mastery of the angelic priesthood has successfully reached a rule level level. In addition, a lot of divine power has been obtained from believers and descendants in recent years. Successfully made up for the loss of tens of millions of divine power spent melting the ancient sacred stone. In this case, all the conditions for promotion to medium divine power have been fully matured. Say hello to the wives. Ren went directly to the central shrine and entered a closed state. Start to promote Middle H. Chapter 360 The Strength Soars, The Invincible Immortal Body? Kingdom of Light. Inside the central temple, Ren sat cross legged on the cushions. Fully mobilize the god, job carried by the perfect godhead. Mainly based on the source level space priesthood. The other seven clergy are assisted, like a furnace. Quickly smelt more than 10 million drops of divine power in the divine space. Then, after being refined by divine fire, it is transformed into a purer original energy area. Under the nourishment of this huge original energy, the perfect godhead within Ren erupted with an extremely intense and immortal brilliance. The essence is a leap to a higher level of promotion. As the source energy absorbed continues to increase, a mirror surface containing boundless void is rapidly generated. The size of the godhead is also increasing at a speed visible to the naked eye. Wait until the metamorphosis is completely over. The volume of Ren perfect godhead is about five times larger than before. At the same time, the rhombus mirror has reached 24 sides. Each side exudes an incomparably bright immortal light. The quality has improved more than tenfold, at the same time. Affected by the promotion and transformation of the Godhead, the strength of Ren's soul and body rose rapidly. Minus 18. Double. Three times, in a short time. The strength of Ren's soul and body has been increased by nearly 50 times on the original basis. Medium divine power has been successful. Is this the power of medium divine power? Sure enough. Open one's eyes. Feeling the majestic power surging in his body, Ren couldn't help showing a hint of amazement on his face. Compared with weak divine power, breaking through weak divine power. The increase in strength brought about by weak divine power breaking through medium divine power is even more terrifying. It can be called geometric growth. It directly caused a huge qualitative change in his strength. Whether it is the strength of the soul, the body of the gods, or the priesthood, the mastery of the rules of the world is far beyond that of himself before the promotion. It can also directly mobilize the source of the laws of the world to bless its own attacks. Without any exaggeration. In the case of excluding all external factors and simply competing for strength. He can easily suppress himself before the promotion breakthrough. Except for the improvement in strength. Other changes have also been significant. For example. The number of priesthoods that can be carried by the Godhead has also increased to 12. Condensable avatars add one more. In addition. The superlevel magic that can be stored in the mythological talent book of 10,000 laws has also doubled. The number of 12 ring superlevel magic that can be stored reaches 10. 30 11 ring super magic. There is no limit to 10 ring magic. Firepower output has been greatly enhanced again. But. This big realm improvement failed to unlock the storage of the 13th ring magic. This disappointed Ren a bit, but that's also understandable. After all. The talent of the Book of 10,000 Laws is just a mythical talent. Storing 12 ring superlevel magic is probably the limit of this talent. Want to store 13 rings of magic? Most likely, this talent needs to be upgraded to the highest quality. And Ren has no shortage of attacking tools right now. Improving the Book of 10,000 Laws is obviously not cost effective. Unless there are a lot of supreme talent upgrade cards in hand. Otherwise, he will not consider upgrading this talent first in a short time. After adapting to the power of its own skyrocketing, Ren began to refine the stellar priesthood left before. With the star priesthood into the perfect godhead, Ren instantly felt that he had comprehended countless mysteries of stars. He even has the authority to control the stars, but it is because of the priesthood of the stars that he has mastered the level of law. This authority is not very strong. Full run. At most, it can barely control a planet. The current strength increase for Ren is better than nothing. It can only be said that the future is promising. Certainly. Ren doesn't care about that either. He chooses the priesthood of the stars. One is to value that this priesthood has a good fit with the priesthood of light. The second is to value the powerful potential of this priesthood. As long as the understanding of the mastery of the priesthood of the stars is improved. He believed that sooner or later, he would be able to reach the point where he could raise his hand and control billions of stars to fall, suppressing and destroying all enemies. 
After refining the priesthood of the stars, Ren did not continue practicing soul formation. Although his godhead can carry the priesthood, there are still three vacancies. But the priesthood in his hand is no longer suitable. Those three priesthood vacancies will be filled later. Forget about filling priesthood vacancies for now. Ren adjusts himself. Then, start to condense your seventh world protection. With anticipation, he sinks his own consciousness into the soul space and communicates with his soul beacon at the root of the world. With the blessing of the talent of the son of luck, Ren has successfully absorbed a large amount of the power of the world's roots. The forces of these world roots appear in Ren's sea of soul consciousness. Afterwards, it automatically combined with Ren's soul energy and began to condense and evolve the world for protection. I don't know how long it has passed. A rune that was almost nothingness and had no sense of existence appeared in Ren's soul space. Next second. Ren automatically knew what the condensed world protection was. Open black lens bracket absolutely immortal close black lens bracket effect. After activating this ability, the concept of death in your body will be completely reduced to nothingness, and you will become an undead existence. Even powerful gods with almost omnipotent powers will not be able to obliterate you. Duration, 1 hour. Note. If the ability is overloaded, the duration can be increased to 1 month, but after the effect ends, the ability will fall into a 100-year cooling period and cannot be used. FK. The effect of protection in this world is a bit abnormal. Flip through the information in your mind. There was a look of wonder in Ren eyes. So Dick. This is the real invincible plug-in, after launching. Even if the gods and spirits of the entire universe attacked him together, they would never be able to kill him. And the duration of immortality is as long as one hour. If overloaded, it can even be extended to a month. It's just off the charts. Without any exaggeration. This world protection directly improved his survivability to the strongest height in the universe. Encounter a powerful enemy whose strength far exceeds his own. He can completely use this ability to risk his life, exchange damage with it, and forcefully consume the opponent's rear.